make sure it sound right, boys. Friday to everybody. Get the weekend coming up. That should be good for everybody. Mostly uh, no work and all play. So we have uh, three games on tap today, plus off season, finishing up the recruiting, and uh, getting our recruiting board set up for uh, the 2023 season. So go back to our schedule. And show what we've done so far. We are 9-1 and one and ranked number 20. Um, first loss is a uh, huge, kind of ended a long winning streak. And uh, it's really kind of annoying, but we'll deal with that. So uh, we have uh, USF, Temple, and a bowl game on tap today. So cool thing is... Uh, We've got the new uniforms in here, so we're gonna we're gonna play against USF's lime green uniforms today. So anyway, um, let's go look at the uh, top twenty-five because we just got ranked in the middle of last stream. Drake Scott, welcome in. Uh, you can see Clemson, Florida, and Indiana are all ten and one. USC lost to UCLA; they were number one. Texas Tech, I don't agree with this. That's our old school. They dropped from 1 to 12 with a loss to Baylor. A four-point loss to Baylor dropped them from 1 to 12 behind all these three lost teams. I think that's uh, ridiculous. But anyway, we are way down here. We're 20th on the coaches poll and the uh, media, which basically knows nothing, has us unranked. And I can say that because I used to work at a uh, TV station here. And uh, you got a bunch of idiots. Anyway, the, at least the BCS has us 22nd. So we're not going to get a natty run this year because our uh, schedule. But um, we can at least get into the top 10 by winning three more games. That would be good. Good start first year being a uh, one-star prestige. That'll go up. We'll be at least a two-star next year. We can look at the conference standings. <coughs> we are 9-1, 6 no in conference. Army's 9-2, and, and we've already beaten them. That's their only loss. So as long as we don't use to lose to USF and Temple, we will win the uh, American Conference. We never didn't have Navy on the schedule, so we never got a chance to play them. SMU wasn't on the schedule, so we didn't get a chance to play them. Now, why we don't play every single team in the conference when it's a, a, a conference with no uh, championship game, I don't know. That's really kind of stupid. <clears throat> Go to the Big 12 and look at our old school Texas Tech. They're uh, they're probably going to play. I don't know. They may not. They may not play. Yeah, they should. They'll probably play Kansas in the uh, Big 12 championship game. Heisman watch. We have uh, nobody on there. And that's okay. 
We'll deal with that later. Our championship contender page, which tells us what the game thinks of our entire roster going forward, has us 20 this year, 37 next year, 28, and then 8. So by the time we get done with next year's recruiting class, we should be down to single digits in 2024 and 2025. Speaking of uh, recruiting classes, we, uh, we have one left. Morning, Lou. Good morning. Welcome in. We have one scholarship left to give out, and we're uh, waiting for this last straggler of a uh, kicker to commit. You guys get a 3,000 point lead over Penn State. Both teams have already had their visit, so um, hopefully that goes to the offseason. We give them 15,000 points and be done with it. Maybe even earlier than that, but since we're in a battle, it's probably going to the offseason. But uh, check this out. We have a. Uh, Four-star center, five-star wide receiver, three-star Juco DN. So we have two five-star wide receivers. Four-star uh, corner, a five-star quarterback. He's the number one quarterback in the uh, entire class. So we are uh, doing well. You can see our letter grades have gone up significantly. We only had uh, one in the A's and the rest were all C's and D's. And now we've got some B's, another A. And this academic prestige is going to go up next year when we start some of these freshmen. Um, so we uh, should be good going forward. Our class rank right now is number one. Three five stars, five four stars, 13 threes, a two and a one. We get that kicker that should uh, keep us at least in the top five. Maybe even one. We'll see. <clears throat> so, um, let's look at our schedule. Like I said, um, you see, uh, we play uh, USF and Temple. USF is four and six. Temple's two and eight. USF is an eighty-three overall with a ninety offense, but a seventy-five defense. Temple 75 with a 74 and 78, so it shouldn't be a big a big challenge. Um, if we go under bowl projections, you will see that we are projected to play in a bowl game. And this will change based on the last two games we play. So right now we're supposed to play in the Birmingham Bowl against Ole Miss. Um, what's funny is if we we're ranked 20th, right? We move up high enough, we may end up play, playing Texas Tech. <laughs> so, anyway, let me get situated in this chair a little bit better. It's I'm slumped over. <clears throat> Already on my second big mug of coffee, so we should be... Uh, wide awake and ready to go. <clears throat> anyway, without further ado, let's get in here and play this game. USN, welcome in. Good morning, good morning. We've got uh, three games today, man. Yeah, yeah, we definitely... They lost one time and dropped to 12. That's really, really stupid. Grimm's going to get another 1,000 yards. Uh, Grimm's got another... He's going to... I think he needs 75 yards to get to 1,000. Hey, USN, we're working on it. We're number one right now. We only have one guy left to add, but he's like an 84 overall kicker. So we got two five-star wide receivers, a five-star quarterback. We're, we're going to be good to go on offense next year. Let's uh, see what uniforms we can go with USF because they have new ones in the game. Check this out. We're actually going to let them wear that um, on the road. We're going to go, uh, we're going to have a, a double, uh, double dark uniforms. Let's see. Let's see if it'll let me wear these black ones. Yep, yep, 
George told me that uh, the fantastic duo moved his uh, team from uh, Arizona State to USF, and uh, they broke out those lime greens. So uh, funny thing was, I, I have another dynasty I play offline, off stream, with my uh, head coach Tubby Fats, and he's at Utah State. And USF was on their schedule last night, so I got to play them at their place wearing those lime greens. So uh, I already had a preview of those, so that's why I'm like, all right, we're going to go ahead and let them play. Now they have a halfback that's out two weeks. We have no injuries, so that's good. And it's a primetime game. Are they going to let them wear these green ones? It's, this game's kind of funky about uniforms sometimes. Yes, all right. Double dark uniforms. <clears throat> kind of look like the Seattle Seahawks, don't they? Oh, man. I didn't save it. I changed the backup running back and the kicker's names. And I might not have saved the... Uh... Here, let's check this out. Let's see if I, if I saved it or not. So I went in and changed them last night. And I don't remember if I saved it. Oh, yeah, look. So I remember last stream I was going off of my running back for being slow. So um, now his official name is Baby Back Bitch. And this uh, weak leg kicker is now uh, Ass Salad. So they have officially been branded. Well, I didn't set up my uh, adjustments, so hopefully they don't go uh, hurry up on me and I can get them set after this play. Get him. Come on. I'm so tired of these running backs breaking 25 tackles. Fucking ridiculous. All right, baby back wins the Heisman. Yeah, he's probably going to be our number one running back because um, I didn't get any. Although the, I, the, I did get a, a 92 speed running back. He's in the low 70s, so he'll, he'll be a senior though. So he's only going to have one more year. So we are uh, most definitely going after a high level um, halfback next year, as well as D tackle. Those are the two biggest need positions for going next year. Um, I have my depth chart up here. We got a tight end. We got some stud wide receivers. Um, definitely running back. And always use more offensive line. Um, gonna need a strong safety as well. Always need corners, but. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be going after uh, definitely going after a couple of running backs. In fact, since he's got that eighty-one center um, snagged already, and he may get moved to guard because we're a little light on the uh, top-level players at guard. He should he should retain his eighty-one as he moves to to a guard. So. There's no, no point in uh, redshirting him. Good God. These guys have a 75 defense, so we should be able to move the ball on them. Just got to figure out what they're deficient at on defense first. Let's try this flanker dig. So both these guys on the right are going to dig routes, one short and one long, and then squares going down the middle of the field. So if that safety doesn't cover the guy down the middle of the field, 
Like that. Go, music, go! Wow, they're going to call that a completion and a fumble. Wow. How about that for the first score? <laughs> they called that a 22-yard uh, completion, and the rest is us to fumble run. Fumble. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What a way to start the stream. <laughs> the NFL that would be a uh, oh, Nebraska lost. In the NFL that would be a fump that would be an incomplete pass. All right, let's 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 look and see what they call the stats on that. All right, the 22-yard pass is what they're calling it. Wow, and they're giving it to Truth. So how are they classifying that touchdown? 54-yard fumble return by Music. All right. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'll take that. Definitely not what I was expecting early in the game. And that's that's the first time I've been able to uh, recover a fumble and run it all the way for a touchdown other than something close to the uh, goal line. That's crazy. This guy won't go down. He must be related to the fullback from Cincinnati. I officially hate fullbacks in this game. They are way overpowered. And they're too slow to actually run as a regular running back, so I'm not even interested in trying to get one of those. Where's that going? I think the fastest uh, fullback in this particular uh, recruiting class was like 80. Low, low 80s. Come on, somebody hit him. Of course he drags and falls forward. Well, so we got the uh, EA cheese on our side to start the game. Let's see how it goes the rest of the day. This guy's going to get 100 yards in the first half. At least he's out for this play. And after that Cincinnati game, we're kind of prepared for this kind of bullshit. So. Alright, let's try this fire zone. See what's going on with this. things my nose is itching it won't stop and the other one is this quarterback is a terrible accuracy guy he's horrible all right salty let's see if you can get in there and get some uh no oh, they threw the ball instead he was in there he was going to get that ha fullback from behind but they didn't hand the ball off all right third and six we're just going to call the same play. USN hosting. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. All right. Let's see if they're going to kick a field goal here. It's going to be 50 yards. Let's just call it safe. Let's make sure they don't fake it. I'm kind of paranoid on any uh, punt or field goal now, the way this game's been changed and... They seem to fake way more than you expect them to. All right, he's got plenty of leg. That was that'd have been good from 58. Yeah, definitely has a good leg. Well, the wind's at their back too. Hey, well, have a good day then, man. Have a good day.
They are run blitzing us to death. We have no one visiting, so we don't have to meet any statistical goals, so we just need to win the game. The only person left on the board is a kicker, and he's already had his visit. God, where was that to? That was terrible. That wasn't even close to the guy I was throwing to. All right, we got we to gotta start a little bit closer to home here. Let's see if we got some... Uh, Where is it? We gotta get the uh, curls in the post route. Of course, there it is. It's never handy when you want it, so you gotta chew the clock. Yeah, it's all gonna come down to what those other uh, schools get um, in the last couple of weeks in the uh, off season, because we only have one guy left to get. We already have twenty-four. So, it should, we should still stay top five. Let's just keep throwing this curl flat post for a moment here until he gets uh, warmed up, and then we can run our whole offense. All right, we're looking X and square. X, thank you. Go tight end. Thank you, thank you. Alright, let's see if we can get any yards on the ground at all, or if we're just going to have to throw the ball all day. Well, we know this guy's slow as shit, but at least we got four yards, so we're not looking at second and ten, third and twelve, you know. Let's see if the running back can get his legs loosened up. I never thought about this until I was watching a revamp stream, and he was talking about warming up his running back's ankles, and it's 100% true, man. I think you need to complete at least five passes and you need at least four carries by your running back before they start playing with their normal uh, attributes. Hey, those five-star athletes at USN, that makes a huge difference. They, those guys, uh, they immediately make your uh, talent level better. Plus, if you just start them, like I was saying earlier, if you start them as freshmen, because most of them are going to be high 70s, low 80s, <coughs> it'll help your... Uh, your academic prestige, which seems really strange, but that's what it's tied to. Nice wiggle right around the end. See, now he's running good. Yeah, I thought that defensive end was going to get me. There's our kicker, Ass Salad. Revamp made a clip of my uh, stream yesterday where I was calling my backup running back a baby back bitch. And uh, he clipped it and it made me laugh so hard I was crying. So uh, last night I went in here and changed the running back's name to baby back bitch and the kicker to ass salad. Because I said the kicker was ass salad. The kid has, doesn't have a strong leg. That, that cracked George up too. So... GRC, hey, thanks for the follow. Get there, get there. There we go. Nice open field tackle. No, not at all. I think I have to get at least to the 25-yard line for a legitimate shot at a field goal unless we have a huge uh, wind advantage. All right. This offense is in 90, so we're playing pretty good. We're playing pretty well on defense, but that's been our strength the whole season has been our defense. The offense let us down the first game because I didn't know who was worth a shit on the team. And I threw a pick six on the first play that uh, I dropped back with this quarterback, so that was, wasn't very helpful. But since then, we figured it out. Plus, I went back to my uh, my uh, spread. Look at this guy. Went back to my spread playbook. And that's made a difference because I, I know which routes work. Trying to uh, play play a different playbook with guys I'm not familiar with um, wasn't wasn't a good idea. 
This guy's gonna just break everything. Yeah, boost. These are their uh, slime green. That's what they call it, slime green. We uh, we went ahead and let them wear their uh, dark colored uniforms on the road. I'm surprised it let us wear our black ones, but. So I got the, uh, yeah, the, I got the last update just in time because we got all the uh, Central Florida and South Florida uniforms. Very Seahawkish. Boom, nice hit. Plus it has, Memphis has some really, we played them yesterday, they have some really nice uniforms. I really like their uh, blue and white tiger, tiger striped helmet. Um, Tulsa has some really good uniforms in the game now. I think we, uh, um, Breezes is playing at Tulsa. They have some really nice. I really like their uh, their all blue ones. And Cincinnati, Cincinnati's uniforms are in here too. Goody dropped it. We played them yesterday. They have some fire black and red uniforms, and I really like their matte red helmet. So they've they've got some really really good uniform choices for some of these smaller schools now. I wish they would get the Mountain West done, though. Unfortunately for George, he doesn't have uh, revamp. Because I want to see some different uniforms on SJSU than what we've seen. Kind of tired of that combination. I'd like to see something different. Yeah, Boost, I'm about ready to finish a full season while you've been offline. <laughs> My wife's about to kill me. All right, let's see if they're going to play tight on this. Nope. Is it, where's the safety at? All right, they're covering this square with the safety, so we're going to have to go X. There we go. Unknown Music has uh, really good hands. He's, he's been one of the ones I can actually rely on. All right, let's see if they're going to cover Truth tight all the way or not. There we go. <laughs> I can't wait to have a better throwing arm. The new guy coming in has 75 speed with an 89 throw power. So, ah, I juked right to go left, and he stayed right. Um, I don't know. You may have to, I, I don't know what G12 does if they, do they run on a separate, uh, a separate box? Oh, he dropped it. Damn it. Yeah, I was, I, what I was doing, was it the 4th of July they dropped it? I hurried up and uh, downloaded everything and updated it all before uh, my last um, Texas Tech stream. And so, uh, catch that. Damn. Um, so when everybody uh, told me to uh, go to UCF, I knew we had new uniforms in here already. So, All right, let's see if Ass Salad has enough leg to get this through the uprights. What's up, Miller time? Oh, he just snuck it over. Wow. Like I said, ass salad. That's our kicker. Just started up Miller time, and we, we had a really wild play for the first score. I threw a pass, and the guy caught the ball, took one step, fumbled. My other receiver scooped it, broke a tackle, and went the distance for a touchdown. So we had a 22-yard completion and a 54-yard fumble return. <laughs> so it's been crazy already. 
And their fullback is just like the guy from Cincinnati that we couldn't uh, that we couldn't stop yesterday. Yeah, no one's clipped it yet, but we can go back and add it. I mean, it's literally the second or third play of the of the stream. I don't know. I uh, I haven't seen anything on the uh, the stadium, and we're playing in the stadium, but I haven't seen anything on there. And my camera angle is is uh, so high that I'm not going to see. Look at this. This guy doesn't go down. There you go. Lou got it for me. Thanks, Lou. Appreciate that. Here, let's uh, let's go to the depth chart and do that. That's not going to work there. Let me. Try it now. Can I dig routes, one short and one long? Yeah, so I'm throwing the ball the to Truth over here. Safety doesn't cover the guy down the middle of the field. Like that. Boom. Fumble. Scoop. Go, and gone. Go. <laughs> wow, they got fumble. Wow. How about that for the first score? <laughs> All right, so now I got to put this back to where it was. Actually, I put the wrong one. Hold on a sec. Move my background. I'm still in the background. All right. So anyway, yeah, that's how we started the day. <laughs> Here we go. Nice. Yeah, so we only got credit for 22 yards of offense on that play. Let's go punt block on these guys. We're not going to block it, but at least we'll keep all their guys down at this end of the field longer so we can get a, a halfway decent return. Ooh, we almost blocked it. Ah, that stupid trip tackle. That's all right. 19-yard return, man. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, oh, I'll just take this. Thank you. Goodbye. See you. I, and I said it wrong. I thought he broke the tackle, but he, he didn't. Um, he just outran the guy. It's funny because the DB was reaching down to pick it up, and he just snatched it right out. He's like, oh, no, excuse me. I'll take that. <laughs> All right, we still might be able to run curls on these guys because they're not playing tight. Truth's going to go in the end zone. Oh, he went out of bounds. Oh, they counted it. Wow. I'm not even going to review it. That's fine by me. Yeah. He's uh, Truth and uh, Unknown are both sophomores. Um, true sophomores. So they'll be our top two receivers next year, even though we have uh, two five-star wide receivers coming in. One of them's an 80, I think. The other one's a 78. So those two uh, freshman wide receivers are going to play. We've got guys behind them, but they're all in the low 70s and high 60s. And there's no point in... Uh, Playing those guys when we can play guys that are already going to be the same level and be better players, more athletic. And like I said before, playing those freshmen helps with the uh, academic prestige. That's one reason why I'm going with the uh, freshmen.
freshman quarterback next year. We're just going to throw him in there and go, kind of like we did with Mahomes. We'll be able to do a lot more read option with him. 75 speed isn't blazing, but it's better than 59. Yep, it does. I'll show you as soon as the game's over. You know when you go into the uh, recruiting page and you go to the bottom where it shows all your bonuses for your school at the at the bottom next to like your school needs and all that stuff, and it shows what your bonus stuff is. Just fucking running down. Um, if you scroll down to academic prestige, it'll tell you in the, like the top right hand corner. Um, what affects each one of those things. So like campus lifestyle, that's just affected by winning and, and playing better overall. Pick that. Oh, Jimmy. But yeah, academic prestige is tied to um, playing freshmen earlier. Not making them sit and be backups for two or three years. So when you're in a small school, it's more advantageous for... Um, future recruiting to get those freshmen in and let them play right away. Oh, nice height. Oh, he gave him the, he gave him the spot. Man, this first half has just flown by. Yeah, it's amazing what, what you can find when you're just poking around and checking stuff out. Pick that. Oh. And if you go under like playing style and go through, tick through each position, it'll tell you what you need to do to uh, upgrade the uh, recruits' interest in your school. Yeah, I, I guess that's what it means. I don't understand what the logic behind that particular. God damn it! Category being tied to freshmen playing early, but that's what the game says. Yeah, when I saw that, I'm sitting there thinking the whole time. I'm like, can you imagine the programmers? They're going through and trying to figure out what all these different things do when, before they launch the game and say, you know, well, how do we improve academic? And somebody had to just throw out, um, let the freshmen play early. And we're like, how is that related to athletic, uh, academic? And I don't know, but we got to do something to make these guys, you know, <laughs> get there. Boom, there we go. He tripped over his own feet. I would have loved to have heard that brainstorming session when they were creating this game. Yeah, if they're a high 70s and the 80s, I would not redshirt them if they're going to be um, better than your starters. You're, I mean, if you have a 79 junior and you bring in a 77 freshman, I would play the freshman. You saw what happened with Mahomes. We started him day one, and by his junior year, he was a 99 overall. Now, part of that is tied to his his training. Part of it's tied to him playing. So as a user, you're playing with him, and you're doing really well, and that's automatically going to give him more development during the season. <clears throat> but same thing with Bam Morris. He was he was in the high 90s by the time he was a... a he might have waited till he was a... a I'm going to call timeout. I'm not gonna let them chew this clock off. They want to kick a field goal, that's fine, but I want I want the ball back. Yeah, I know they used to have that stuff in the game, and I don't know why they took it out, but I'm pretty sure they won't put it back in the game because they they don't want any negative stuff in the game. You know, like career ending injuries and Madden went away as well. Yeah, so does Param Crow if you look at his five-year rebuilds, but he's not doing it for any other reason than to um, get them to progress up and then play four years so that by the time they're in their fifth, his fifth year, they're all high 99s. Yeah, there's no career-ending injuries in Madden anymore. They might have a 48-week ACL tear, but there's no career-ending anymore gonna throw that away no one was open 
Um, I probably had, because I played Madden on the PC back when, uh, I think Ray Lewis was the last one on the cover that I played. Um, because then they went, they went, they took it away from PC and went strictly console, and I wasn't a console player back then. So I, I didn't play Madden from that Ray Lewis cover one until, uh, nice toe drag, until, uh, Madden 19. In fact, I used to play. I used to play the game before it was ever Madden. Remember when uh, Tiburon they had front page sports football before it became Madden? I played it back then. Get there! Nice over the shoulder catch. Did you see that throw? I'm not going to do a replay because it'll cause the game to glitch out and go slow. All right, we still have one timeout if we don't score on this play. Get in there. Yes. See? We don't need much time to score on these guys. That was like 20-second drive. You know, we were talking in Cincy Bowen's stream last night about the Madden. They used to have uh, ambulances. Like 21 seconds to go 74 yards. They, uh, they used to have ambulances drive out onto the field to pick up injured players, and they would run over guys and knock them flying off the screen. It was hilarious. Just like uh, NHL. Is it 96? They used to have... Uh, you'd get in fights, and you'd uh, knock the guy out, and he'd lay on the, on the ice and bleed. played the crap that was on Sega Genesis I played the shit out of that game I had a friend I didn't have a Sega he did and I'd go over to his house and we would uh, we would play to like three o'clock in the morning and it, we would play together on the same team and we were always two men short because I was always running guys into the boards and getting penalties so it was always five on three and we would still kick their ass Oh, give me a break. Can you believe that? Come on. Unbelievable. Broke both of those tackles. I didn't do that. The game did that. I hit him twice. He should have gone down both times. In fact, he should have gone down when he tripped over my guy. The broken tackle shit in this game drives me insane. That's why you'll never see me play zero one hundred like Param does because there you put the you put this the uh, CPU with a hundred running back ability and you'll be lucky to tackle them at all. Yeah, who is that uh, running back at Miami? Is it Ronnie Brown? I know his name was Brown. That was the first time I saw Wildcat in the NFL. Yeah, Ronnie Brown. All right, so we have square. Oh, what a move! Look at that move! Wow, go truth, go! Yes. Have a fucking day. Look at this. Whoops. <laughs> Whoop. All right. That has to be clipped too, man. Holy shit. Truth is like, you're bringing in two five-star wide receivers. Kiss my ass. Kiss my ass, coach. You don't need no five-star receivers. Just let me play, coach. Let me play. What's up, George? Welcome in, man. That was the first play of the half. What a move. Go down. Damn. <laughs> They've been looking at his ass all day as they run down the field, man. Oh. 
Get him. Get him. God. You gotta be kidding me. Oops, sorry about moving the camera there. Hit move my laptop. <clears throat> this has to be the first time we've had two clips in... Maybe in one stream, but definitely two clips in one game. George, you should see the uh, the first the first touchdown of the game was ridiculous too. Oh, and George, you know you and Revamp are laughing your butts off um, at me calling the running back baby back bitch and the kicker ass salad. I went in and changed their names to baby back bitch and ass salad. So Ass Salad is officially our kicker. At least till next year when Olivia Newton John returns. Yeah, let's go deep on him again. Fuck it. Huh? You got? I must have got hit. That ball came out really, really low and flat. All right, let's get the. Uh, let's get the first down. <clears throat> Temple is our next team up. Oh, you gotta press Patterson, that's fine. Circle square. Oh, the guy's revenge on truth that time. Six catches for 166. That doesn't even include the 50 something yards on that fumble return to start the game. <coughs> yeah, I had a huge crush on Olivia Newton John when I was a kid. There we go. Nothing but a 41-yard pass to our running back. That gets us to 300 yards passing. Here's a play we've never run, so let's see what happens. So I actually decided we we need we need to go after at least one stud running back, maybe two. And we always need to keep upgrading our offensive line and we need D tackles. We need a couple of guys in the high 70s on D tackle. And um, I'd like to go after a stud tight end. Okay. Lurk, 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 good job. We will. We have three games to play, and then we have a big... We, we have a small off-season for uh, recruiting this class, but we are, we're going to have a big off-season recruiting for the next season. And we're going to do that today. So later in the day, probably closer to 3 o'clock, we'll be hitting up the uh, recruiting for next season. Georgia, welcome in, welcome in, man. Man, you've missed some crazy shit in this game, man. We threw a 22-yard pass. We got hit, fumbled, our other receiver picked it up and ran it 50-something yards for a touchdown to start the game. Um, we've had a step back, long touchdown to wide receiver. It's been crazy, man. How, how's your Friday going? What do you guys get? What all you guys have planned for the weekend? I'm, I'm not streaming over the weekend, so I'm just going to take, take it off. It's supposed to rain all weekend. So that non-streaming thing might might change. You never know. 
first down. Watch the run, watch the run. Watch the run. This uh, fullback over here, 37, is a pain in my ass. He's just like the guy from Cincinnati yesterday. There is a, a tactic that I have discovered. I'm sure I'm not the first one. If you just dive in front of them, don't even try to tackle them because they're going to break the tackle. Just dive in front of them and make them trip and stumble and fall over you. Then uh, you don't have to worry about the uh, break tackle bullshit. Awesome. Well, 49er Georgian here has a uh, G12 game tonight at uh, 8 o'clock Central, I believe. Oh, what a catch in that crowd. So you're going to be streaming uh, earlier or later? All right, Pimp Daddy, let's go. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Let's go. What's up, Zuzu? My uh, almost one-year-old doodle just came downstairs. What's up? Hello? Hello? This is hilarious. Last night, so my older dog, I have a, uh, a golden doodle that's uh, going to be seven in October. Oh, he almost picked that. And um, when she wants to go outside, she just comes over and sits next to my chair and, and stares at me, tells me she wants to go outside. And so I'll look at her and I say, do you want to? That's all I have to say. Do you want to? And she'll look at the door because she knows that's what I'm asking her. Do you want to go outside? And so we were sitting here talking and my other dog was upstairs in our bedroom, which is right above my head. And I said to uh, Chica, I said, do you want to go outside? And she starts, she got up, starts panting because that's her way of saying yes. And the other dog, which was upstairs in another part of the house, came running downstairs. I heard her f jump off the bed and come running downstairs and uh, ran down here and like, yeah, I want to go outside. I'm like, how the hell did you hear me say that word through the ceiling and the floor at the other end of the house? <laughs> it was crazy. Because I didn't say it loud. It wasn't like I yelled it. I just said it in this, this tone of voice, this loudness. The freaking dog comes running. Crazy. All right. Still got a 25-point lead. That was a nice kick. Yeah, we did that too with both of ours. We have uh, uh, jingle bells that we hang from the uh, handle of either the uh, sliding glass door upstairs or the door behind me. And so we taught them to just go over and nose the door with their uh, to tell us they need to go outside. And uh, and the older one used to do that all the time. And then she figured out if she just sits right next to me and stares at me that. Uh, I figured out that's her way of saying I need to go potty, like, right now. <laughs> so. Get the fuck out of here with that interception. How can he cover both guys? He covered both guys. He covered both guys. I lobbed that over his head. <sighs> this game. This game. All right, I'm not going to let it get me as uh, pissed off as it was yesterday. CPU thinks they have a chance. They're still down 25 points, so they need four touchdowns. And he just launched it. That's good. Sometimes you don't even have to get in there and sack the quarterback. If you just move your defensive line and contain him and keep him in the pocket, 
Sometimes they'll just run into a sack with one of the other CPU control D linemen, or they'll just chuck it out of bounds like that. I don't even have the uh, intentional grounding cranked up, which will cause them to throw the ball away. If you put intentional grounding on the penalty slider all the way up to 100, they'll, they'll throw the ball away much quicker. Right now we're playing on uh, default 50 penalty sliders. I used to play with them set at different things. It actually affects your offense and defensive line gameplay. But we already we already kind of went through that once before. I'm not going to rehash it, but there we go. He just threw that away. controller between my legs below the front of the chair because when I put my arm up on the armrest it, I have tennis elbow right now and it drives me insane. Pick that. There we go. Jimmy too bleasy. He floats that over the middle and Jimmy's like, yeah, I don't think so. Snatch. Thank you. <laughs> that was me mashing buttons. Did that little leap. Yeah, that screen pass is going to be a negative play. Let's run this out here and see what they do. Thank you, Mr. J. 23-23. Yeah, he, he, uh, he floated that over the middle, man. That was not a good pass. All right, let's get some rushing yards here because I've been throwing the ball all over the place. We already have 300 yards passing, so let's get our 100 yards rushing. We don't have anybody visiting that we need the uh, 100 yards for, but Mr. Reed needs to get his 1,000 yards if he doesn't have them already. Plus, we can eat some of this clock. And if I run him enough, he'll sub out, and we can bring in the backup, the backup running back, baby back bitch. Make baby backs number thirty-two. Get out of my way. Run it one more time and see if he uh, subs out. You see 32. Yeah, he'll sub after this play. Get off me. There we go. We got our 100 yards for the team. He just needs 29 more. Yeah, we're not going to run with this guy because he's fresh off the bench. All right. Oh, what a catch. Thought for sure that safety was going to cut that and pick it off. Patterson's uh, been kind of ignored this game. All right, we're off to the fourth. And we've only run 39 plays. We've got more points than we have plays. They should probably go to R1. They're probably going to cover X on this one. Yep. That's our freshman tight end. Oh, what a move. Splits the gap. Keeps fighting through all the way down to the five, five or six yards. He's like, yeah, don't be going out and recruiting a four-star tight end. I, I got this, coach. They don't want to give me any decent run plays.
Get in there. There we go. 50 burger. Nice way to start the day. <coughs> and our kicker ass salad with the extra point. Well, we get to win it or back, and we can barely put the ball in the end zone. So that's one reason why we uh, we call him Ass Salad because his leg isn't that good. Our next one coming in will be better. All right, three sacks. That's good. Hopefully, they run the ball and chew this clock so this last six minutes goes by fast. Yeah, do a draw play to thirty-seven, please. Just like that. Koala, hey, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good Friday already. We're uh, trying to get a, uh, a big win out of here early. We have this game in Temple, and then we're off to our bowl game, whatever that happens to be. So, get in there, get in there, get in there. Pick. Oh, just missed the pick, missed the sack and the pick. I didn't mean to uh, use her that middle linebacker. I was trying to get that defensive end seventy-one to get in there and get that sack. He did the spin move right there, and I tried to get the sack. And then miss the interception of 57. That's a shame. Hey, well, we're following now. Thank you, thank you. Get him. Get him. There we go. So we're going to play these three games, finish up our recruiting class, and then we're going to do all of our recruiting for uh, the start of next season. So the last... Probably two hours of this stream is going to be nothing but recruiting, so. Hey, we used the trip, the trip tackle animation on them. Kind of like these lime green uniforms, but that gold trim on the uh, dark green doesn't really go too well. You should have just gone with black or white. No, what's your news? Because I've seen you in other, in other streams, but I may have missed what your news. What's your news? Awesome. That is awesome. I had a uh, really good friend that I used to work with that uh, he's probably mid-70s I guess but he didn't act like it. anyway he got leukemia and uh, he was gone in like two months it was it was like wow you have leukemia and then all of a sudden wow you're gone it's like damn so that is awesome thank you I'm very happy for you Yeah, he was one of my best friends. Even though he was much older than me, he's some guy I used to work with that was just hilarious. He's one of those guys that everybody likes. Get that guy. There we go. Yeah, Miller Time, this is year one. This is, uh, we did we did five years at Texas Tech <coughs> and then left after four natties in a row, four undefeated seasons in a row, and uh, Chet decided I needed to come to this school. So... Yeah, that is awesome. I'm so uh, I'm happy for you because that's that's not a touchdown. That's uh, awesome news. My uh, father-in-law, before I got married, well, while I was engaged and still dating uh, my wife, he got uh, like bone cancer in his back or something like that, and he passed away before she got married. In fact, I had to move up. Uh, 
the pr proposal so that he, she could tell him before he uh, passed away. <clears throat> so, congrats. They're going to blow this play up. Get off me. How'd they know I was going to run? Vamp the Ripper, welcome in, man. Circle. Get open, circle. Oh, I tapped it. He didn't throw the. They didn't finish the animation. That was going to be a long pass. Right here, I tapped it. We sim punting because I hate punting. That was going to be a long completion. Damn. Still have a 32 point lead. They still have to score four touchdowns with four two pointers. So. All right, four minutes have gone off the clock really fast, so that, that makes me happy we can uh, get this game done. Yeah, you and your Wildcat can sit down, get this other game over with so I know what uh, bowl game I'm playing in. That's what I'm most interested in today is who we play in the bowl. Yeah, no problem, dude. Look, check this out. Here, revamp. Look at my backup running back. I changed his name to Baby Back Bitch. And we changed the kicker to Ass Salad. Hey, Miller, thank you for the biddies. I appreciate that. Yeah, you and George were laughing so hard at at uh, at me going off on them and made that uh, clip yesterday that I, uh, I came in here last night and changed those two guys. The funny thing is that running back is going to be our starter next year unless I find... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to find... I think I'm done this year. So he's going to be the starter next year. So we're going to have baby back bitch as our starter. But ass salad's going away because uh, he's a junior. But we uh, we already we're getting this kicker, and it's going to be Olivia Newton John again. So we're going to cut him. Let's get this guy his hundred yards. Yeah, revamp clipped me just ranting, using his his terms. You can tell him in his stream a lot. And so he, he clipped it and we were dying. I laughed so hard at my own self that I started crying. It's funny because sometimes you'll be streaming. You guys know that stream. You'll say some shit that you don't even realize you said. And then somebody else will bring it up and clip it or whatever. And you're just like, oh my god, I actually said that. <coughs> Unknown, welcome in. Welcome in. Let's go, let's go. Make it the first down? No, it's third and inches. We'll get this a little close and uh, kick a field goal to end this game. Boom. Hey, thank you, Mr. J23. Appreciate that. Yeah, I don't have the uh, most bubbly personality sometimes, and I like to rant and rave and bitch and moan, but uh, I have fun playing this game, have fun uh, showing people how to recruit too, so. All right, we're going to kick this field goal. Dark Devil God hosting. Thank you. Appreciate that, man. 
let's let this clock run down and call timeout and kick this field goal and be done with this game. Three, two, timeout. There we go. Ah, shit. Call timeout again. I didn't mean to call the play. I was trying to go to my uh, special teams. I hit triangle before I was on the right page. Yeah, thanks, Lou. I, uh, I archive. He barely made that. I archive all of my streams over to YouTube because the VODs here will go away. But one thing I did notice, I don't know what changed. My VODs usually expire over here, um, but they haven't for a while. So I'm not sure what's going on. Did I reach a certain level where my VODs aren't going to disappear? But I still put them over on YouTube. Yeah, I'm, I'm recruiting. So at the end of this season, after we're done with the bowl game, we have the off season. We have to finish uh, recruiting this um, class that we're on and then uh, we'll go um, do the player changes the position changes we'll do the uh, red shirts do our depth chart and all that stuff and then we'll set up our recruiting board for the start of next season and uh, normally I, I just show what's on there and then we set I do the board off stream and we show what I did the start of the next season but we're actually going to go through and set that entire board up and probably um, go through I never play in week one so we'll advance through week one and get to week two and then I'll stop the stream at that point and we'll start the next season in a new stream um, but yeah so we'll be doing a lot of recruiting at the end of the stream <coughs> All right, so we threw for 382, ran for 141, three touchdowns for Reed. The truth, 166 and two touchdowns. Unknown, you had a you had a 22 yard reception. You fumbled, and Truth picked it up and ran it 50 plus more yards for a touchdown. That's how we started the game. Decent amount of TFLs, three sacks, one pick by Jimmy Tubleasy. Let's see if it'll let me show you this highlight. We have it, we have it uh, clipped. See if it saved it in here. Must have went too far. It's very early. All right, so it says it's a. Uh, it says it's a pass. So we throw it out here. So watch this. Dark Spectre, welcome in. Watch this play. This is how we started the game. So unknown, you're open. Boom, I hit you. Boom, fumble. Truth picks it up and is gone for the touchdown. That's how he started the game. And then there was another one later. Where was the other touchdown by Truth? There's a field goal. 16 yards. There's another one where Truth did a step back and split two, uh, split two defenders and was gone. Is that in the third? <clears throat> yeah, this one right here. Check this out. Which one is it? We'll have to wait and see. I may have to uh, switch off. Nope. What's this one? Watch this. Whoops. <laughs> oh, man. 
I was just in Param Crow's uh, stream last night saying, how do you do the step back? I don't know how to do the step back. That was totally on accident. I didn't do that on purpose. All right. I didn't write down the score. I have to write that down so I can update my schedule. So that's a win. 55-20. One sec while I save this in Photoshop. And then I can update my uh, image in OBS. All right, so go to the schedule page. Yep, there we go. So you can see we have Temple. We'll be done with our regular season, and then we got a bowl game, and that will be determined by where we finish in the uh, rankings, who we're going to play. Right now they had us playing Ole Miss in the uh, Birmingham Bowl. Hey, Unknown, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. So let me get back in here to live cam. <clears throat> we can advance the week. 20. Temple shouldn't give us trouble. They're 75 overall with 74 offense and 75 defense, but you saw what happened yesterday with uh, one of the other games. <clears throat> yeah, I did laugh so hard. I was crying. I had to wipe my tears like at least twice. And revamp was just like dying laughing and he was laughing in the chat. I actually watched my VOD so I could read the chat again. And then I, I missed, at the time, I missed George dying laughing because I called the kicker ass salad for missing a 22-yard field goal earlier in the year. So that's why I went in last night while I was watching uh, Cincy Bowen play, and I changed the running back's name to Baby Back Bitch and the kicker to ass salad. So Baby Back Bitch might be our running back, number one running back next year, so... That's the backstory on that before anybody comes in next year and like, why is your running back named Baby Back Bitch? He's 90 speed with like 80-something acceleration, and he, he runs like he's stuck in the mud all the time. All the time. Like this this quarterback with 59 speed runs better than this, this halfback does. Yeah, well, Lou, we, we did bring in a 92 speed halfback, so if he runs better, I'm going to play him over baby back, but we'll see. I think his injury, his injury number is, hey, we got the kicker. Olivia Newton-John. Shane McBride's going to be Olivia Newton-John. That's that's uh, Team Ramrod's crea uh, redeemed player. So now we have no off-season recruiting to deal with. We're done with this this recruiting class. <clears throat> All right, boys. Twenty-five man class. That's what we sh set out to do. Eighty-four overall kicker. With 92 kick power as a tr true freshman. So this is Team Ramrod's player. This is Cincy Bowen's player. This wide receiver is available. This punter is JT Gaming. This defensive end is available. This five, These are two five-star wide receivers. They're both available. Four-star corners available. This quarterback's available. We've got offensive linemen and linebackers. We got a bunch of guys that are still available for redeeming and getting. But uh, this is a one-star school. And we have the best class. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. I wish I could bank them for, uh, for scouting, Lou. That would be nice to scout all these guys like you do. You know in uh, College Hoops 2K8 when you can scout those... Uh, high school seniors and stuff and kind of get them interested in your school before uh, before they uh, come to your school. I mean, actually, I mean the, the freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. So you can get them interested before they become seniors and get up their list faster. I wish you could do that with this. But you can see we have three five stars, five four stars, 14 threes, a two and a one, and the one is, is a fullback. So you can see three five stars. These are offensive studs going forward. 
this guy is going to get moved to guard um, because we're a little deficient on our uh, guards. But we have this is the uh, running back with 92 speed. We got an extra wide receiver. We got a backup quarterback. That's he's going to get redshirted for sure. Um, this guy can play quarterback. He's probably going to be our free safety. But you can see he's a one star. But he's a he's a fullback. That's why it's a one star. Now we just got to wait to see um, what the other schools do. And and Boost, if you're still in here, this is what I was talking about. Academic Prestige. If you look up to the far right hand at the top, it says increase this grade by targeting prospects that do not have to wait long to be a starter on your team. So that means play freshmen or start them after they've been redshirted one year. But don't make him um, be a backup for a long time. The quicker the, the younger kids come in and play, the soon, the higher this will go. And this just, you got to win your conference championship and bowl games and stuff. So this program tradition should go up after we win this conference. And then hopefully we win our bowl game, and that'll push us up. And this pro potential, you have to, guy have, have, to have players get drafted. They're only going to get drafted if they're in the 90s. And you have to make sure they have the bare minimum height and weight for their position. If you don't know what that is, uh, we have a graphic over on 49er Georgia's Discord on the recruiting page. And it shows you uh, the minimum height and weight at each position. So if you have a bunch of 99 players that aren't being drafted, that means they're either too short or they're not heavy enough. And then this playing time goes to how long they have to wait to be a starter. And then the playing style is dependent on, you can see, we have an A-plus for passing quarterbacks. They like, to, they like our school because we throw a lot. Scramblers, we don't run a lot with this quarterback because he's not very good. So this should go up next year. Lag 90s, Matt, hey, welcome in. So... We don't run for 200 yards a game typically, so we're never going to have a high um, halfback thing here. Same thing with fullback, but we're really we're always going to be up there in wide receivers. And once I get a good tight end in here, we will throw to the tight end a lot. So that will go up. And then the offensive line, if you throw for a lot of yards, the pass blocking offensive lineman will like your school. Um, balanced. We don't run a ton, so the run block, or it's kind of low. But anyway, that those all are dynamic and will improve based on your gameplay. <clears throat> Let me save this, and I'll answer your question. <clears throat> so, Matt, the uh, college football revamped is a bunch of um, people who play the game who've gone in and cracked the code, basically. And they've updated the uh, graphics in the game. They've updated some schools. They just released um, update version number 13, which added some new uniforms for like seven schools. Um, they have all the uh, most of the big uh, conferences taken care of already. But they also updated the gameplay so it, it uh, learns your uh, play calling. So you can't just spam the same plays over and over again. Um, they also changed some of the plays and updated them some of the terminology and, and uh, the art. It's also graphics. You can see the graphics aren't quite the same as what the other the original one is. Um, but it's uh, people who love the game who are trying to uh, keep the game alive. And the funny thing is once we uh, got this released and people started playing it, then EA came out and said, hey, we're going to have a new version of this game. And then they took two of the guys that worked on revamp and hired them to go work on the new version of their football game. So. Anyway, let's see where we are. I didn't look at the first page. Let's look at our top 25. <clears throat> so Clemson, Florida, Indiana are still up there. They're still disrespecting uh, Texas Tech. Oh, the Texas Tech lost to Texas. We just left Texas Tech after five years. We won four natties in a row, went undefeated all four of those years. 
and now they can't win. So we're up to 18 in the coaches. Media did not have us ranked last time. And they got us 22 this time. Let's see what the BCS says. BCS is the only one we need to worry about because that's what determines the bowl games. All right, so we're up to number 20. Hell, we might pass Texas Tech. Franchise Gaming, welcome in. Hey, man, we just won um, against U USF, so now we're 10-1. and one. We have one more game left. That's Temple, and then we have our bowl game. And we uh, finished off our recruiting class. We have all 25 people, and we're currently uh, ranked number one, so we'll see how that holds up. Let's look at our uh, championship contender page now. So it's got us ranked 18th. It's saying our roster is the 18th best right now. Well, we're 18th best team based on what we're doing. You can see we're a one-star prestige school. But it's got us now up to uh, number six projected rank. That'll probably be one after we get done recruiting this next season. This will be in the top ten, and this will be one, and then the next two will be one. So... Um, let's go look at this bowl projections because remember it had us playing Ole Miss in the um, Birmingham Bowl and now it's moved us up to the uh, Military Bowl against San Diego State who did it put down for that other bowl so it, it replaced uh, us with Notre Dame wow we got Texas Tech playing in the Cotton Bowl against Michigan So our quarterback has got the fifth most passing yards, which is amazing considering how we started this dynasty. Our running back has 1280, so that's pretty good. Patterson should get over a thousand yards soon. We got to make sure I throw to him and get him over a thousand. Our middle linebacker has the most solo tackles and revamp. Jimbo Pimp Daddy is number two. And Boone's only a sack and a half off the lead. So, not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go look at our other wide receivers, because we've been racking up some yards with them. 22 rushing touchdowns for Reed. Yeah, so we've spread the ball around a lot, and mostly went to Patterson, because he was the only one that catching the ball earlier, but Truth's picking it up. So, Truth needs 337 yards in two games. So we'll see. We'll see what we can do there. Patterson should get his 1,000 yards. Pancakes are a little low. Yeah, that would be weird if we played Texas Tech. That would not be fun because I know how good that team is. All right, so 23 TFLs by Green. Nine sacks by Boone. Peyton Crum with four picks. That's I Ropes if you see him in chat when he comes in. He had three of those in one game. All right, we don't have any more recruiting to do, so that makes the offseason go even faster. Let's see if Temple has, I know they've updated um, uniforms. Look at that mess. Wow. All right, I'm gonna leave them on red and white um, so that we can wear uh, dark colored pants yeah that's all right let's see if we can find something different I don't like their white helmet at all maybe we go silver <clears throat> you can rock that look we've already worn their space one multiple times so let's just go with gray Yeah, I really was not looking forward to having him uh, have to go to the offseason because sometimes those guys won't sign at all. Even if you put 15,000 points on them, sometimes they don't sign. Um, 
So we would have had another year with the ass salad at kicker. Not looking forward to that. Hey, we're number two in the uh, nation in scoring with 40 points a game. We have the third highest passing total, and we have the uh, number one rush defense. Number eight uh, points allowed. Looking at them, they give up a lot. We're going to have a good game this game. Kicker is their best player. Gotta be kidding me. All right, so Patterson needs 78 yards, so we should try to get that taken care of. And we got another primetime game here. This is helping our TV exposure. This is nice. Hey, Matt, it is, um, it's Xbox, but you have to have your Xbox um, modded. You have to send it off to get it modded. PS3, you can do that yourself. And it's also PC, but you have to have a uh, PC that's robust enough because it's very CPU intensive. Um, and if you try to stream off that same PC, um, it's going to be uh, difficult. So you have to have, but it's, uh, yeah, if you just Google college football revamped, it'll give you a link. And then, uh, this is a PS3 and I have the physical copy. I bought this game when it first came out. Cool thing is on the PS3, at least you put on hen and you put on multi-man, you crack your PS3 and then you download the entire game off the CD onto the hard drive and then you take the CD out and put it away because you never need it again. <clears throat> Alright, I think this is the first time I've ever played Temple in any, any rebuild. All right, Patterson is clearly our best receiver, and they are going to uh, press right away. So let's see if we can get this past the circle. Go, 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 go. All right, we got, he needed 78, right? We got 41 of them right away, so we only need 37 more yards. Be nice to get that out of the way. All right, square could be open, but X definitely will be. Square's open. Get there. Go. Go, Truth. Truth needs uh, about 160 yards in both games. All right, let's run this read option and see what happens. This quarterback's terrible speed. 59 speed, but we, we're going to rock with it while we while we can. Isn't that funny? I had not called a run play yet, and they knew to uh, attack this read option. What's called Heisman cheating. Got to get his ankles warmed up. Alright, so X and R1. Go, get in there. Oh, he didn't score. There we go. If you're new here, I am the... Uh, all-time leader, world champion at one-yard touchdown runs because we get tackled on the one on passing plays so much it's not even funny. It is it is a meme. It is literally a meme. There we go. Touchdown. Since he gave us trouble, Dark Devil, they gave us a lot of trouble. We, had, we beat him 38-35. They, they have a fullback that's like uh, Jerome Bettis. He's like 80, low, low 80 speed. 80-something break tackle, but he feels like he's 800 on a break tackle. Navy beat Army. 
That's not going to help us. We need Army to beat Navy because Army's not ranked, and we didn't play Navy this year at all. So that won't help our uh, that won't help our ranking. Yeah, we didn't play SMU or uh, Navy this year. SMU has updated uh, uniforms in this game too. So does Navy. I watched Re uh, Breezes playing last night. He was playing uh, Tulsa against Navy at some point, I think. <sighs> All right, boys. Let's try not to give up a 40 yard run up the middle very first play. All right, that's out of bounds. These guys are gonna throw all day. That's gonna be nice because we're just gonna we're just gonna blitz. Oh, I fucking missed him. I had him and I went right by him. That's the problem when you're uh, usering and you uh, hit right trigger, <laughs> you blow right by him instead of taking your finger off. There we go. Fourth and one. Big stop right there. Now, one thing they've changed in this game is uh, they will do a lot more fake punts than they ever did. I've already had nine fake punts in the last four and a half, five weeks. They did it to me twice yesterday, and we picked one of them off. Yeah, ECU's, ECU is terrible. Yeah, nine. Nine fake punts. ECU might be terrible, but they have really, really nice new uniforms in this game. Even their all black ones are sweet. Pick your way through, pick your way through. Let's go. Yeah, so you're going to see me run fake punt um, man coverage all the time unless they're like deep in their own 10 yard line or something like that and then I'll, I'll try to block it but it's it's terrible they really they really want to press all right Ah, okay. I should have angled. I should have pulled the left stick down so he threw it to the back, to the back of my receiver instead of over his head. Yeah, I don't like to punt in this game, so we just sim the punts. All right, boys, let's play some tough defense again. <coughs> we just need to survive this game. Get to our bowl game. Got to win that. There we. Come on. What is this? Got to win our bowl game because that helps our championship contender rating. Plus, hopefully, if we get another win here, maybe we can play another ranked team so we get a, a bonus for uh, beating a ranked team. God damn, this quarterback. Yeah, they're playing all these wide receivers, and they're going to run the ball. They're going to run the option. Watch. Yeah, I didn't trust them. This is a 74 overall offense. 
can't believe we're having this much trouble uh, stopping these guys. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, this feels like in plain Cincinnati like uh, we went through yesterday. That's not fun. We've given up the least rushing yards of uh, any school because we usually have the lead and they have to throw the ball. But some of these games in the first quarter, they just march through us like we're nothing. He's down. There we go. Yeah, we always know that uh, we always dominate them in the second half. Part of that is fatigue setting. The computer, once if you play with fatigue on, the computer will uh, they will get tired in the second half, and so you'll be able to do. You'll be able to uh, push them around and hit passes and break tackles and stuff. But um, the first half is always difficult, is I guess the best way I can describe it. And since I have conservative tackle on there, we're not going to get a whole lot of forced fumbles because uh, they're not going to be trying to rip it out. Mostly because I don't want to uh, have a bunch of broken tackles more than the, more than Heisman already gives you. So I'd rather just wrap them up and try and stop them. Georgia State's terrible in this game too. At least for this current season we're playing. And we're going to go to the second quarter. They're not going to snap the ball in time. Here, before we go to the next quarter, might as well take my ibuprofen. Anybody new in here? <clears throat> I've been playing video games my entire life. I'm 55 years old. I've been playing since the 80s. And I've got arthritis in my thumbs from these goddamn controllers. So... <laughs> We knew that touchdown was inevitable. We knew that was going to happen. My loss to uh, Arizona, I'm sorry, Air Force, very first game of the season. So this head coach started at actually started as the offensive coordinator at Texas State for one year, Maryland for one year, and Oklahoma for two years. Then I took over Texas Tech. We were at Texas Tech for five years. We went 10-3, and three, and then we had four straight 14-0 seasons. Chat wanted me to leave, so we went here, and we lost to Air Force in week one. We had a 58-game win streak going, and uh, now we've won 10 straight. So that would be 69 straight if I hadn't lost that game. <clears throat> And we're using uh, slightly modified J-Kit sliders. Yeah, we lost 31 to 10 to Air Force. My first pass of the season was a pick six. And I'm trying to run read option with a 59 speed quarterback. Get up. All right, we should be able to complete one of these. Two. Yeah, we're going to go circle, circle square. Go, Patterson. All right. 
He only needs 25 more yards. Yeah, I didn't recruit this this guy, so I kind of just got to go. He's a senior. We have a uh, five-star quarterback with 75 speed and uh, 89, 90 throw power. I can't remember. I think it's 89 throw power. Um, he'll start as a true freshman next season. Alright, they're gonna press truth. So we have our curl on the left, streak on the right. Get there, truth, get there. Yes, right over the top. Just tapped it. Here's our kicker, ass salad, for the extra point. Thank you. Yeah, I've learned on these lesser teams, if you just tap it and let the uh, receiver use his speed to get by the DB instead of trying to uh, use a bullet pass, which is a lower trajectory, and they, they usually pick that off. Striving Skate, welcome in, welcome in. We are uh, wrapping up our regular season here. Getting ready to go to a bowl game in our first year at UCF, so perfect time here. Dark Devil wants to get that player on the team really bad. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I'm playing an offline dynasty with. I have a head coach called uh, called uh, Tubby Fats. And he's won multiple national championships at different schools. What happens is I, I win a natty, and then I go to a one-star school um, and try to win a natty. As soon as I win a natty there, we go to another one-star. And uh, I'm at Utah State right now, and this quarterback I have is uh, leading the nation in throwing, and he he's actually pretty good. And I've put up 350 yards in the first half last night with him. And it was mostly that kind of thing, just, just tapping it and tossing it over their head, and they're gone. Doing great striving, doing great. Having a good uh, good Friday. Got one win under our belt, trying to get uh, two more in so we can finish this first season and go get another uh, goaded recruiting class set up. Get there. Nice. Way to break that up. How was your Friday doing? All right, this is where, even though it's fourth and seven there at midfield, we run punt return safe man. This is what turned the game around against Army. They threw a pass, and we here it is, and we picked it off just like that. Turn the game around. Go, Harold. Get around this guy. Get around this guy. That's the tenth one in four and a half weeks. See, Spectre? You, you almost have to play safe man on punts. And it's the college football revamped version. It, I have never had this come up with the old version. It's just the revamped one. They've changed some of the AI, um, which is good, but it's highly annoying to always have to play... Uh, that defense on punts. The funny thing is, is I uh, I get a lot more rush. If you watch when they actually punt the ball, I have three guys that bust through the center of the line and almost get to the uh, to the punter. So I actually get more pressure on the punter using that safe man than I do punt block. It's crazy. Shove him back. Yeah, I don't know why the computer wants to go at least once a game with uh, with a fake punt. Let's do the student body right, see if we can get to the outside. Here we go. Boom. If you guys watch uh, C4 on YouTube, he does uh, a lot of Madden. That's his favorite play in the goal line is the, uh, the wide pitch play. 
calls it the C4 special. You gotta get that seal block on the outside though. Oh shit. Uh, my thumb slipped off the controller. <laughs> that wasn't Ass Salad's fault. That was user error. That was 100% mine. Here. Just so we're clear. That was 100% user error. <laughs> Trash Talk Sports. Hey, how's it going? We are doing well today. Got one win under our belt, trying to get a last regular season game in the dub column and then play our bowl game. So hopefully you're having a good day today too. Hope you guys have uh, fun stuff to do over the weekend. It's supposed to rain here all weekend, so I'm not going to be doing a whole lot. Pick that. All right, that's good. Not going to do a whole lot outside. Kind of don't want to do uh, NCA over the weekend, so if I happen to stream, we uh, we might have to dust off Super Mega Baseball. I know that'll make Cincy Bowen Gaming happy. We also need to get the uh, Pimp Crew together and play some uh, Camp Crystal Lake too. We haven't played that in forever. And I also got uh, on the casino too, so I haven't haven't uh, gone to the casino with you guys either. It's out of bounds. He didn't get his toe in. There's no way he got his toe in. Oh, he didn't. He dragged it. Looked like he was in the air. All right, whatever. <coughs> whatever. Let's go. And there's another one. Gotta love these floating dots. The safety's actually going to cover in case they run outside. I had the safety in the middle of the field and he got picked off by an offensive lineman, so whatever. Kick the extra point. We're either going to score really fast or I'm going to chew the rest of this two minutes off before I score. And I think we got the ball first, right? Didn't they uh, kick off to us? So... Yeah, we definitely have to get a touchdown here. Just let that go. Cover three, huh? That's okay. We're going to run the ball. to cover this slant on the outside all right square should be open there we go stayed inbounds truth needs about another 60 yards in the second half we still need about 20 something yards for uh, Patterson to get him to a thousand Stay in the middle of the field. Burn some clock. Circle X. There we go. That's our. I think that's our starting tight end. Second tight end. I can't remember. Maybe he's a wide receiver. I can't tell. I can't remember on that play. Sometimes they sub in a. Uh, 
a tight end for a wide receiver, a wide receiver for tight end. I can't remember what, what that formation has. <coughs> oh, yeah, Jocks is a tight end, so he's our top tight end. There we go. <coughs> Damn. Get my throat cleared. The 13th. Well, somewhere around that time, Lou, I'm going to go to the Smoky Mountains. So um, I don't know the exact date, but we'll be gone for like five days. Um, I'll have to double check the schedule on that. And I thought at some point this later this month we were going to go down to uh, Pensacola to visit my dad and my grandmother and make it a long weekend. <laughs> so that'll be gone Friday through Monday. That makes it second and two. And I am watching the clock, so we're we're in good shape. There's baby back bitch. There he is. See how slow he runs? It's a ninety speed running back. That's why we changed the name. I think I could walk faster than that. Let's try this again. There we go. Got our two-pointer, so now we're back to a 14-point lead. Now we just have to uh, protect them going deep on us in this last 24 seconds. Come on, guys. Get up there and hit him. Stop him. It's going to run out the half. What's my NFL team? That's the Denver Broncos. I mean, I'm in St. Louis, so we used to have the Rams, but they left. Um, but I was a Broncos fan before that. So it used to be the St. Louis Cardinals, and then they moved to uh, Arizona. And uh, I lived in Colorado from 83 through 88, went to college out there. So I got to see the start of Elway's career, so I became a uh, Broncos fan. So that's the team I follow right now. Although, uh, I do really like Mahomes, but that's mostly because I had him on my fantasy team. And uh, he, he won me uh, $900 a couple of years ago. So, <laughs> and since they're the only team in the state, you know, we get them on TV all the time. But, but yeah, mostly Denver. There we go. Jimbo drags him down before he can get through the line. That makes it second and eight. Man. I ate uh I ate oatmeal before the stream and I'm starving still. Eagles, Philly Eagles. My, uh, I have a friend from high school who was a, a big Eagles fan back in the 80s when they had Harold Carmichael and Ron Jaworski. Hey, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Get out there. Get him. Boom. There you go. Revamp. You know what I'm talking about. That's it right there.
dive in front of them. If you can't tackle them, they keep breaking tackles. Dive in front. Boom. Wiped his ass out. That'll keep the uh, broken tackle bullshit from happening. Now we can take a look at that when the game's over because it still should still show up as a um, show up on the highlight screen. God damn it! Look at that! Oh, we just have to look in the middle of the uh, third quarter. So if they make this 54-yard field goal, we'll know to go look under that. <clears throat> yeah, we almost picked it off too, and he shanked it. Plenty of leg. No direction. Hey, what do we do? Let's make him pay for it right away. They're going to press too. This might be a touchdown. Go, Truth. It's lobbed a little too much. I could have, uh, if he had more speed, I could have got outside quicker, set my feet, and then bullet past that. Go truth, go truth. There we go. Truth still needs another 40 yards this game. And we need 25 yards for the other guy. <clears throat> Let's try and get these passing yards out of the way. All right. Hopefully the safety doesn't drift over. We can throw this to square. Now we can throw it. And then the linebacker. That should have been a pick. I was forcing that play. <clears throat> All right, boys, let's get some yards on the ground. Make this a short a short third down play. <coughs> Hold your blocks. Let's go. Boom, got that. Get outside. Cut back. There we go. Man, I don't want to run read option. Sometimes the coach has the worst play suggestions. I love it when you're like on a three yard line and it su suggests four verts. <clears throat> <coughs> All right, got our first down. See if we can hit the tight end over here by the 10 yard line. We'll take this one instead. Yeah. Yeah, there's not much uh, awareness in, on these players. They're pretty, pretty terrible. Damn it. I need to throw that quicker. <coughs> Alright, field goal makes it a three score game. I see that guy lurking over there in the end. Yeah, we'll go for it. <laughs> Looks more like two yards than one. All right, just hold your blocks. Somebody get that middle linebacker. There we go. Nice pancake. Baby back, bitch. 
Of course, it's got to be him, Mr. Slowass himself. <coughs> He's the slowest 90 speed running back I've seen in my entire life. <coughs> Damn. <coughs> Look how slow he is. Alright, JJ Reed's back in. He should have a lot more wiggle. Oh, they didn't give him the uh, mark. Didn't give him the mark. Alright, we'll take another one yard run. Alright, three touchdowns. That should be enough to take care of this game. We just gotta endure the last nine minutes. Somebody get this guy. Come on. Damn. They've changed the uh, kick return coverage too because they no longer just blast right down and go right to the middle of the field. I've given up way more kick returns right up the middle. Um, it's like we can't get through their, um, their wedge or whatever. <coughs> Let's go. That there we go, Peyton. Go to the end. Go 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 go. Touchdown. I ropes. I ropes with a pick six. Oh yeah, it's definitely a game. Now we're just chasing stats until the game's over. <clears throat> and figure out who we got to play next game. Would be really nice if we could get uh, inside the top 10. Win this game, should get us closer to uh, top 15, win our bowl game, get inside the top 10 our first year. That would be... Uh, that would really help our championship contender rating. Sack, there we go. All right, this should be, uh, if we can get them to throw an incomplete pass, we should be able to do actual punt return defense this time. <clears throat> oh, look at this shit. <laughs> he floats it for 20 yards and then uh, pushes me up the field for another 20. Where was my safety? He faked him and he went backwards. <laughs> oh, I can I'm laughing because we have such a big lead. If this was a tight game, I'd be bitching and moaning like I was all day yesterday. Yesterday was Look at this. We hit him and he bounced back 5 yards, doesn't go down, doesn't lose his balance and then fires a dot. EA bullshit's what it is. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, EA decided they were going to definitely score on this drive. <sighs> All right. Like I said, we just have to endure the rest of this game, get it over with. Oh, go, Jimmy. Go, 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 go. Don't jump. Go, 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 go. Look, it's Tyreek Hill running next to the DB all the way down the field. <laughs> hey, Jimmy Too Bleasy with a pick six. He's not even in here to see it. That's back-to-back -back pick sixes. This game was seven to nothing after the first quarter. <coughs> I don't know, Lou. I, defense doesn't want to. Uh, they keep scoring for us. They're like, yeah, just take the rest of the day off. We'll play defense, and we'll just uh, we'll just keep running picks back for touchdowns. We'll, we'll get, we got this, guys. <laughs> They're gonna do so well that my starters are gonna get benched. He broke three tackles. All right, seven more minutes, guys. Seven more minutes. <clears throat> Wasn't sure it was going to uh, have a uh, record like this after that first game we played against Air Force. Thought we were going to win like seven games. Got him. There we go. <clears throat> now here's the 16-yard out. Got it. Go, 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 go. Break that tackle. Damn, we almost had three in a row. Exactly. And then they throw a pick. Superman there in the middle of the field. I mean, I threw that ball hard. Yeah, we've had the ball for, what, one play in the last six minutes of this game? <clears throat> Honestly, I don't care at this point. I just want them to eat as much of the clock as possible. This game over. Get to this bowl game. <clears throat> Fam, hey, happy Friday to you too, man. We're wrapping up a very successful year one here. Can get through this game and get to our bowl game. <clears throat> game 
We played uh, USF the first game of the stream, and we put him in that lime green uniform that George was telling me about since you guys are at USF. Even though they were on the road, we let them play with their neon green, their slime green. How did he get out of that? Unbelievable. This quarterback can just get hit by defensive linemen that are twice his size and uh, bounce off like nobody's business, man. This is ridiculous. <clears throat> I don't like the helmet they choose on the slime uniform, so I, I give them I gave them their white their white helmet instead. I don't like the gold with the. Uh, the green, it really kind of clashes. It's like wearing red with purple. All right, let's see if we can keep them from scoring. Let's see if we can get a uh, a big stop here. We did this with Army earlier in the season. We had back-to-back -back drives where we uh, kept them out of the end zone. I think they kicked a field goal on one, but we, we didn't give up a touchdown on back-to-back -to -back drives where they had first and goal. No, denied. Picked again. <laughs> That's four straight drives with a pick. And I'm going to turn around and throw a pick right again. Let's let's do something short here. Let's move the chains, get the game over with. Like this curls and post. Just dink and dunk them down the field. All right. Damn it. Undercut it. All right, this is a play we ran to start the game, the last game, when uh, Music caught the ball, fumbled, and Truth ran it in for a touchdown. Denied. <coughs> let's go, let's go. That ball takes like three years to get there. It just floats. It just floats and floats, and there's no one even remotely. It's like my defenders have no idea what they should cover. Hey, let's just leave that out route open all day long, man. There's, don't don't bother covering that thing, man. There's no reason to. Just let them have it. Go down. That'll eat up clock. They're going to help run off the clock. Let's go. Yeah, run the ball. You're down 35 points. Just run the ball. They gave up. That's good. <clears throat> Pick it. Oh, damn. Can you imagine that? 
Five straight drives with a pick. That would have been crazy. <laughs> Who was he throwing to? Who was he throwing to? He literally threw it to the ground. Just throw it away. All right, let's just run the ball and get this game over with. I'll work on these passing yards for these guys next game. They're not going to let me go deep, so that's okay. Let's just get this game over with. Hey, we got our 100 yards rushing. There. All right. First down. Thank you. Circle and X. <clears throat> Fourteen yards. It's getting close. One more uh, ten yard route. And that should take care of his yardage. All right, that got him over 250 yards passing. Patterson. He's not on the field. All right, music is circle. Got in there. Yay! We didn't get stopped in the one. So we got our 50 burger. That was much better uh, offensive series. 56 to 14. See if we can keep them from scoring. Never know, maybe they'll throw another pick six and we'll get a 60 burger to end the season. Let's go. Come on. Go get him. Five picks, two sacks. I'll take that all day. <laughs> Are these a grass fed Angus? Yeah. Oh, Jimmy! Jimmy, Jimmy, that would have been another one. I do like those gray helmets, though. That gold really stands out on them. And now we're going to blitz. See if Jimmy can get in there on the backside and get him. Yay, fourth and two. Hopefully they won't punt. Just let the clock run out. They're actually going to kick the ball. Yay, game's over. Awesome. <clears throat> 11 and 1. I'd say that was a uh, 
That was a very successful first season. Let's try and make it 12 and 1. Yeah, that metallic gold really does stand out on that matte gray. <coughs> yeah, let's find that one in the third quarter where I blasted that, I tripped at that quarterback and flipped him where they missed that field goal. It was in the third quarter. Huh. Oh well. And that was in the third quarter because I was looking at the scoreboard when uh, it was showing the replay. Whatever. I can always go back through the uh, the VOD and clip it if I want it later, but <clears throat> 300 yards passing. Didn't get our 100 yards rushing. That's a shame. All right, so we were 18 going into this game, so let's see where we are after this. That Air Force loss... We originally had Clemson on the schedule, and I took them off because I'm, I'm not playing Clemson with this team first year. Put Air Force on, and then Air Force stopped our win streak. <coughs> let's go, let's go. Let's go to our depth chart real quick. So, this is unknown and uh, truth. This is the guy we're trying to get his thousand yards. And this is what's behind them. So, this junior is going away, and this 66, are, those two guys are going away with the guys that we recruited, and we have an extra one that's going to probably replace these. So, these three guys are going away. And this is going away. And this is going away. And the number one quarterback is going to replace him. So we are definitely looking to get some high overall D tackles. Need a couple more corners at least. Maybe some better linebackers. Definitely a stud running back because our number one is only going to be like a 78. Um, another tight end. Offensive line. The best running back we can get, that's what we're going after. Hopefully we can find a low-lock dude that's really good. <clears throat> we won the American Championship. Yay. Not going to add it. Are we still stuck at 18? Eighteen in the coaches poll. Twenty one in the media poll. And we're twenty in the BCS. Wow. We get no respect. No respect. Yeah, we only needed to average seven wins. How much? How much you want to bet they offer me an extension at the end of the season? <clears throat> and definitely will offer me one next year. It says we're going to the military bowl, but I don't hundred percent believe that because some of these teams um, that are ranked could lose. Yeah, if I if I had the uh, playoff tool and it actually worked for me, I would put us in a four-team playoff. Oh, 
I would put us number four, so we have to play number one. <coughs> well, we're not going down that road again. We saw what happened last time. I had to stop my stream. I had to reboot my uh, PS3 three times. And it still didn't read the uh, changes we made in the tool. So we're, we're done with that. But if you're new to revamp, there actually is a tool that will let you have a four-team or an eight-team playoff. Um, it's much easier on the PC. You basically have to take your save file, put it on a flash drive, take it over to your computer, upload it, bring it into the tool, um, do all the stuff, save it back. Yeah, they still have us in the military bowl. Number 18, playing uh, San Diego State. George, we get to beat up the uh, Aztecs for you. <clears throat> hey, I won the coach of the year. It's like my fifth time, sixth time. So, wow. The other two lost teams, the, the other one lost teams both lost. So they're really going to have a 10 and 3 team and I'm going I'm not going to get any respect. We're going to we're at 17 in the coaches. This was a C minus schedule. It's not like it was an F. Look, the BCS has Wisconsin number 1 with 3 losses. That's terrible. Right, let's save this right now. That's saved, and we can go in here. Yep, and then it pulled it in. Good, good, good. All right, military bowl. Don't even know where this game's played at. <coughs> so they're in 81, 81, 83, or 84, 84, 85. We need the Mountain West uh, uniforms to get updated so bad. Yeah, don't have much choice here. And we're not wearing black. I don't like their all white. B Smoke Gaming, welcome in. We uh, just finished up our regular season at 11 and 1, and they dissed us in the polls and only gave us a uh, number 18 ranking, so. Let's wear the space. The space ghost uniforms. <clears throat> and get through this game, get a dub, make it 12 and 1. Go see where we ranked our final ranking is on our uh, class of 25. Awesome, awesome. We got a bunch of, uh, we have 25 new freshmen coming in. Some of them are already spoken for. I like the punter and the kicker in the center. 
Um, but a lot of other people are open. We have linebackers that are available too. They're already on the team. All right, so we're first in FCS, 41 points per game, third in passing, fewest rush yards allowed, seventh fewest points. <coughs> Oh, wherever we're at, our coach is wearing uh, a parka, so this must be somewhere east. RFK. Is that DC? Where's that? Philly? Must be DC. Hey, at least it's not raining. That's all I can say. <laughs> I hate playing games in the rain, man. <laughs> hey, they want the ball first. I'll take the ball to start the second half. Even with the wind, this ass salad kicker puts it halfway in the end zone. <clears throat> we made San Diego State go all the way from the West Coast and uh, Central Florida go all the way from Florida up to D.C. to play <laughs> in the cold. It is a nice stadium. All right, I didn't set my adjustments, so we got to make sure um, they don't no huddle us here. <coughs> There's USN freestyle right there. He's a DN, but he plays D-tackle because he's so much better than than the uh, D-tackles we have. JT, welcome in. Welcome in. <clears throat> Man, I am so hungry. I'm going to have to uh, graze on some jerky here while we play. Hey, welcome back, Drake. Um, I don't think it's the Redskins Stadium. I think they have a big bowl. I don't think they have an open end on theirs. I don't know. Plus, isn't the Redskin Stadium in uh, Virginia? There we go. <coughs> All right, part return safe. Hey, they actually punted it. Patterson didn't get the yards he needed, so we'll see if they're going to cover this play. Fuck. Throw the ball. I'm hitting X. Throw the ball. Catch the ball. God damn. Clearly the best receiver on the team, and he can't catch that. All right. Please, please play up. <clears throat> we don't have the quarterback to run this play, so we got to slide our protection this way. That'll work. 
Nothing but a 42-yard pass on third and 25. <laughs> Love how he underthrew that. <coughs> Cancel. Here we go, Truth. Truth needs close to 200 yards in this game to get to 1,000. Yeah, exactly. There you go, Patterson. Hold on to that. I think he needs one more catch and he'll be over a thousand. They're going to uh, have that play on lockdown, so that's fine. We might throw a lot this game. <coughs> X. X. Right there. Tight end. Get the first down. It was RFK. It said Robert F. Kennedy. But the old RFK didn't look like this. That's where the Redskins and Nationals played. Get up! But it's not this particular shape. So I have no idea what this, where this stadium is in DC. There we go. JJ Reed for the one yard touchdown. George, I said in the last stream, we missed a golden opportunity back in the Mizzou days of uh, keeping a running tracker from a number of one-yard touchdown runs I had. Wow, they don't run. They don't want to run kicks. They're they're easily returnable from there, and they don't want to run it back. That's the second one that they've uh, just took a knee. I'm biting my tongue. I'm going I want to make a comment, but I'm biting my tongue. There we go. <laughs> exactly, Macked Up. That's, you know what I was going to say. Need to get that, uh, Hey, hold on, Lou. I don't have uh, I don't have chatbot loaded. Give me a sec. I forgot to load it. Oh. 
I wish it would auto load like my uh, microphone filters do when I uh, start up Streamlabs. All right. Now, now you can do uh, shout outs. Thank you. Thanks for thanks for trying that. It actually reminded me to turn it on. X, 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 X. There we go. <coughs> All right, so I'm not going to bite my tongue now. I'll make this comment right now. So I'm going to call you out. Drake, I'm going to call you out right now. So you were complaining that you didn't have enough points to be on the team, yet you're never in the stream. And Revamp said he had enough points that he would redeem for you, but I'm not going to let him do that because if you want to be on the team, you got to be in the stream watching. It's just common courtesy. And then coming in and saying you want to be on the team, but you can't wait for Revamp to start his stream, I'm not going to put you on the team. So it doesn't matter how many channel points you have, 15,000, 19,000, you're not getting on the team. So if you don't like that, you can click that little X right there and get the fuck out of my chat. Go. Don't fumble. Go, 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 go. Keep going. There you go. Push. Oh. Yeah. I don't fuck around. All right. Get that hole. Push. Push. Ah, oh, one yard short. Hey, it's another one yard touchdown. Mac Dub, thank you for the gift subs, man. I appreciate that. You don't have to do that. I got you, 88. I got you. We trash talk. We had uh, my my uh, youngest son was always uh, in trouble, and. Uh, My wife used to use like wooden spatulas to sm uh, spank him with it. No, not abuse him, but make it sting so he would stop doing what he was doing. And uh, she broke one one time because it was brittle from going through the dishwasher too many times. And so he acted up, and so I went and got a wok spatula out. So it's one of those that's really long and curved, and it's plastic, so it doesn't break. And so he got spanked one time with that thing. And after that, all I had to do was set that thing on the table, and he he straightened up. We didn't have to didn't have to use it ever again. We just set it on the table next to him, and his shit got straight right away. <laughs> Welcome in, Gucci. Welcome in, man. Get him. There we go. Yeah, you don't have to spank him over and over again. It should be a deterrent, just to do it one time. Get him. Ah. So, and we joke about it now. So, like every time he had a new girlfriend, we'd tell that story. But We still have some wood spoons, too. They just get used for what they're intended for, which is uh, stirring stirring sauce and stuff, right? <laughs> All right, guys, let's go. Get to this guy. Push him. Stay outside. Get there. Got him. Yes. That's why I like using the D-line. I was pushing that tackle outside to force him to stay in the pocket, and then I look at I'm pushing outside. And that let my defensive end release so I could hit circle and go sack him. Sometimes I get caught outside and they go right up the middle for a long run. But that's that's why I'm doing the user with the uh, the D tackle is to force that guy to stay where he's supposed to be. Yeah, I got whipped with a belt more than once when I was a kid, so I know how that feels. 
In fact, one time I reached back and grabbed it. There we go, Dobbs. This is the dude that took the football right off his noggin earlier in the in the uh, like Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday when I threw the ball and it hit him right in the face and he never even moved his hands. No, never knelt on rice. Our 59 quarterback running read option. Let's go. One second here. It's telling me I have to connect the chat. There we go. <clears throat> nope, never did that. Ah, I was trying to fit that in there. All right, we can run for get this first down. We can run and get the. Give me the right play. There we go. They seem to block better. They seem to block better on these these plays like this. We just got to look for a cutback right there. That should be a first down. play. All right, we'll go with this one. <clears throat> no, that's not what I want. I want the wheel. Push. There we go. Got the first down. Let's see if we can not throw a pick to the middle linebacker on this play. Boink. Wow, I don't know who that hit, but that was a hell of a rebound. <laughs> All right, let's just run this in. They're, they got everything covered. We'll just run it in. Push. There we go. JJ with another one. Yeah, we're getting hosed. We got no respect at all. We didn't get into the top 15. I think we just broke a school record for rushing touchdowns in the season, though. Oh yeah, Trash Talk, we went 11-1. Uh, and one. Our first game of the season, we lost to Air Force, and then we won all the rest of our games. Um, the hardest, uh, greasiest game all year was against Cincinnati. We had to beat them by a last-second field goal. They had a, they had a fullback that uh, you just literally couldn't tackle. Yeah, we're going to go through this conference like nobody's business, so... Um, it may not take us very long to get to the Natty. I mean, we're going to blow through this, so I'm going to have to schedule some harder non-conference. Um, but as per George's suggestion, luckily we've got a lot of in-state teams that we can schedule, like Florida, Florida State, Miami, Florida. Um, we might schedule one of those guys next year. But by year three, we probably will have all of them on the schedule because we're going to need as much help in our uh, non-conference. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Yes, Jimbo Pimp Daddy with the fumble recovery. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, Trash Talk, the first one we did was... Uh, we did Mizzou because that's where uh, I almost went there. My daughter is, she's now a junior at Mizzou. So we went there and then uh, we started a new one. And I picked Texas Tech because um, they had a ton of uniform options. And then uh, 
the chat picked this team for me. Which I didn't mind because they had a bunch of new uniforms in the update. Oh man, that drilled, that dude is wide open. If you want a small school that has a ton of uh, uniforms, if you have revamped, you got to have revamped, but I would, Eastern Michigan has like 17. Oh, throw the ball. I'm spamming X. Yeah, hold on a sec. I actually have a spreadsheet. I have I have to add the the teams that just came in on the uh, on the last update, but before version thirteen, you know Oregon's got a ton. They're at nineteen. Texas Tech is eighteen. Washington State sixteen. Boise fifteen. Louisville fifteen. West Virginia fifteen. Eastern Michigan fourteen. Oklahoma State fourteen. Miami Florida thirteen. Utah State thirteen. Um, let's see, Utah's got 11, Colorado has 10, Kansas has 10, Mississippi State 10, Troy 10, there's just a ton. <clears throat> so, let's just kick this field goal. Should have been a, uh, should have been a touchdown. Ass Salad barely gets that field goal. Shit, that's funny. Yeah, some of them, uh, I can't remember what, there's one school, I'm drawing a blank on who it is. Um, their socks are supposed to be orange, and they're green. I think it's, uh, it's not UTSA, because they don't have updated uniforms in there. But somebody has a weird, they have the wrong color socks, completely wrong. It might be UTSA, though. For whatever reason, they have green socks. Because when I had the original version of this game, the non-revamped version, I could pick orange socks, and now they're green. Get out there. Man, we quietly put 24 points up. I'm not even paying attention. I'm too busy talking. It's amazing how quickly the games go when, you, when you're busy talking to the chat and you're not focused on gameplay. Yesterday when I was pissed at the game and I was just sitting here not talking and just playing the game, the game took forever. <laughs> yeah, yesterday when I looked in the camera and I said, we are going to win this game. That was, that was what, that look was what my wife calls uh, Rick's look. If I give you that look, I am not a happy person. <laughs> <laughs> I can just look at you across the room like that and you're like, oh shit. Yeah. I got that from my dad. My dad did, my dad never spanked me once. All he had to do was look at me and I got my shit together. Yeah, once we get through this off season and we get into the uh, preseason where we're uh, setting up our board and all that good stuff, um, I'll take care of all of the uh, getting everybody on the team and getting you uh, get in there, getting you set up for next year, guys. That whole what time is it? One o'clock. Yeah, this game will be over by one thirty. It's probably going to take us two hours to do the uh, off season and preseason. Because it's going to take forever just for me to put this board together. Because we really need to... Uh, I have to update my depth chart in the uh, spreadsheet. And all that good stuff. So We will have no more gameplay after this game's over. But we will have a lot of action. So if you're interested in uh, um, recruiting and how to set your depth charts. And change uh, player positions and set them up so you don't have any needs. We'll be uh, in depth on all of that. I know Lou and George love that stuff. <clears throat> and 
know some people blow through the position changes pages, but that'll keep you from having the computer tell you you have to you have to get this position, you have to get that position just by moving them around and making sure you have uh, you don't have two seniors at one position without a uh, underclass backup. So here as a good example, say you have uh, get there. Say you have uh, two seniors that are at free safety and you have three guys at strong safety and both your uh, free safeties are better than the starter at strong. It's better to split those two uh, seniors and put one at strong and one at free and then take those other two at strong and uh, move them to be backup. Oh, I fucking missed. Pick that. Unbelievable. Um... It's better to move them around so that you have um, you don't have two seniors at a position with nothing backing them up. Because then you're actually going to start a freshman for sure. Look at this guy. He's standing right there. And the quarterback throws it to a guy. Yeah. Can't believe he found that guy wide open to throw it to him. Of course he finds him inside the uh, edge of the, of the end zone. Yeah, we don't need to look at it again. Just give it to him. Just give it to him. I hate this. I hate this part of the game. I was watching Franchise Gaming the other day. It was probably two weeks ago. And uh, the CPU caught a ball, and his foot was clearly a foot and a half out of bounds. And they did a review and called it inbounds. <laughs> he was upset. I was upset for him. It was, it was a total EA trash. <clears throat> Let's run this back. Almost. Yeah, I also like getting hard hitting safeties and uh, move them to linebacker if you can't find enough linebackers, but there's a bunch of uh, safeties out there. Three hundred dollars, holy shit. Plus it's Canadian, so it's gonna cost it'll be a different cost. <clears throat> Whatever the exchange rate is. Come on, he's covering both guys, really. Twenty four is gonna cover the uh, out and the and the curl. Give me a break. I'm gonna run this for a first down. Yeah, I wish I had NCAA basketball. I have College Hoops 2K8, but I don't have NCAA. And the funny thing is I had to go back through my Amazon purchases to figure out when I got um, 2K8 because it was, it was literally like four years ago. Catch the ball. Another DB covering two wide receivers this game. Let's go music and Patterson. Let's go. Get out and about. Next year, I'll make that throw. I will 100% make that throw next year. Hey, thank you for the biddies. I appreciate that. Get there, get there, get there. Ah. Did not have the speed. I just tapped that. I did not rocket throw that pass. We're going to go for it. Hell with it. We're going for it. I don't feel like punting here. Give me the right play. There it is. Looking at circle and square. 
Circle's got the deep in and Square's got the post. Ah, couldn't get away from that guy. Don't care. No, I don't want to see the replay of a negative play on my part. Let's go. <laughs> that USO uh, logo over there. I keep looking at it. It ri reminds me of uh, a Snickers. Oh, what a catch! Holy shit! Over the shoulder! <laughs> Man, our last two games, our DBs are on fire. That's why, I t I, and, and I haven't even gone and recruited a bunch of athletes to play DB. I like to recruit DBs that are athletes because if they're um, wide receiver as well as uh, DB, then they have better catch and spec catch ratings. All right, let's get a better pass play. We need to get about 20 yards on this play. Let's do this. We got this deep cross from the slot, and we've got a running back running all the way out here. So I'm looking X, X and R1. There it is. Let's call a timeout since we have three. Alright, let's go with the tight end attack down the middle. We should be able to get this down near the 10 yard line. We still have two timeouts. This guy's usually open. I gotta wait just a little bit for him to clear the linebackers, like right there. Love that play. If you have a really good tight end, you're gonna get a thousand yards receiving. Running that play, and the other play that I like to call um, when they have two tight ends tight on the line. Push, push. All right, I'll call timeout. Of course, he's down on the one again, right? Is it one or two? He's on the one. <laughs> oh, Trash Talk, you should have seen our quarterback we had at Texas Tech. He was a 90 speed, 91 throw power as a true freshman. He was a 99 overall by the time he was a junior. He won three, he won three uh, Heisman trophies, won four natties. He was, uh, you know how uh, Lamar Jackson and Madden, you have joystick and he's he's a cheat code? He was a cheat code in, in our dynasty for four years. Lou wanted me to redshirt him one year because we had a uh, Juco athlete that was basically his clone, but I really wanted to play with him instead. And uh, he got hurt one year, and so the other guy had to play like two and a half games, and that we, we, we had no... Uh, we had no drop off. It was like playing with the exact same guy. Yeah, he ran for five thousand yards and he threw for seventeen thousand yards. And when we switched to the uh, air raid playbook at the end of the season four, he started throwing for like four and five hundred yards a game. All right, one more play. Caught it. That was because I switched off those guys and went to the D line to try and sack the quarterback. So those were just stat padding there. And we get the ball back. Number 86, back to return. Truth needs a whole bunch of uh, receiving yards here in the second half, so we'll see if we can get him that. Let's check this out. He needed a little over 300 yards total for those two games. Patterson should be over his thousand. So Truth really needs 150 yards in his half. So 
Let's break out the cheese. Oh, they're going to press. All right. Be patient. You were so far off the screen. I can, that's the only problem with being that close to your own goal line. You can't tell where the, uh, the outside receivers are because you're looking straight down. That's one reason why I like this camera. So you get to see the whole field. But when you're in your own shadow of your own end zone, it makes it really difficult to see sometimes. Push, push. All right, third and four is manageable. Let's just get this first down. This is the other tight end play I love so much. Go. Stay on your feet. 40 yards to the tight end. If they don't cover him, that's a first down every time. If they cover him, then you throw to R1, which is the other tight end, as he's going on a slant the opposite direction. And if they cover both, you scramble with the quarterback. Picked. Threw it to the wrong guy. Should have thrown it to X. That's all right. Man, I am hungry. Before we do this off season, I'm gonna have to go make a uh, protein shake so I can get some get some nutrition. Don't be so hungry the whole time. T Bone, thank you for the sub. I appreciate that. Get him. There we go. All right, they're shading the tight end, so I probably have to go to R1. Nope, wide open. Touchdown. As soon as that safety moves inside, that's a free pass. You just got to not throw an interception to that uh, linebacker or the underneath safety. <clears throat> I don't know what formation that is. I just know it's in the spread playbook under... Uh, it's not a shotgun. It's like one of the regular offensive formations. Man, they just don't like running kicks back, do they? <clears throat> Let's go. Their offense. Their offense kind of fell apart after that first quarter, didn't it? The guys throwing four picks already. Screen. <sighs> this is not going to be a good run play if they run this. Nope. See if we can generate more uh, pass rush by having more guys get a bunch more one-on-ones here. Seven, 
And I don't care if we give up uh, scores at this point. We're ahead by 30 points. More so, just want to keep them keep them shy of getting a first down on the first you know, on the first down. Get less than 10 yards each time, so the clock keeps running just like that. Keep running the clock. Get this game get this game over with. He dropped it wide open. Holy shit. <laughs> that was a gift touchdown, man. He had like five yards on my on my safety or DB, whoever was covering him. That's terrible. One thing they haven't done is run a fake field goal on me, so at least they haven't uh, adjusted that where you have to worry about that. But the punts, punts are off the hook, man. All right. What I don't want them to do is get a penalty which pushes them so far back they don't want to kick the field goal and they go for it and fourth down. And he gets it. All right, good. So they're down 27 points. They're still down four, four touchdowns. It's probably the last time they kick off. That's not going to be an onside kick. Stand your feet. Get out of my way. God damn, 51. See if we can get this slant pass. We're gonna play tight. Yep. All right. This is definitely going to music on X. Let's go, boys. Catch the ball. God, I'm trying to feed you passes to get your yards. You got to catch the ball when you're wide open. You're wide open. Let's go. I'm going to have to run. I can't keep throwing in incomplete passes and stopping the clock. We got we to gotta chew this clock off. the ball there we go that'll burn more time off it's got four touchdowns already holy shit but they're all one and one yard runs aren't they Lou He plays press on the outside receiver, lets him go, and makes a diving stop on that. Amazing. Amazing how smart these DBs are. They can cover everybody. Yeah. 
That'll bring up 32. All right, hold your blocks just long enough for me to get through the line. All right, we'll go for that just so we can burn off more time. Yeah, please blitz. Please. And of course, down at the one. <laughs> I don't know how they always tackle me at the half yard line. We're we're gonna give this to the fullback this time. Especially since he's number forty four. Here you go, George. Oh he didn't get it. How did he get minus one yard? He got at least back to the line of scrimmage. <laughs> I'm trying. I don't want I want touchdown passes. We can't get touchdown passes. I want I need some T D passes and they keep tackling them at the one so we end up with a rushing touchdown. That's his fifth. That should be a school record right there. Maybe I should yeah, there it is, five. Maybe I should start diving when I get near the one yard line, but I don't want to fumble the ball either, so. So I'm thinking before we start next season, all of the uh, CPU sliders, except for interceptions and. Um, quarterback accuracy they all need to be at least 40 and we put up another year like this we'll put them all up to 50 so they'll be default for the CPU He went out of bounds and didn't get the first down. They need to they need to figure out a way to program in sideline awareness in this game. Because the, the receivers have zero sideline awareness. Absolutely none. Picked! Yes! Another pick six. That time I did dive into the end zone. I want to make sure he didn't get tackled at the one. Right there, I thought he was going down. And here I was like, all right, dive. <laughs> what I didn't want to do was do like George did when he dove and he ended up going out of bounds like in the half yard line. <laughs> I still laugh. It was funny. The Knights are lined up for the kickoff. We need to return. Oh, man. <sighs> yeah, we definitely have to put up the uh, CPU sliders for this conference. Yeah. Not like they're all at zero too. I have them. At, you know, basically it's J kits, but uh, and we are not gonna put the uh, interceptions up because they cheat enough on the interceptions. They don't need any more help. Boom, there we go. Sit down. You guys are down 41 points and they're running the ball. All it's doing is running the clock out, which is very helpful for us.
It's already 1.30, so this game's taking longer than I expected. But I definitely will take a two to three minute break after this uh, game's over to go get some, uh, make a protein shake, have that. And then we'll get into this offseason and preseason, do all of our uh, mental work. Man, there was four people there. I wasn't sure which one of the four was going to get that ball. All right, let's blitz these guys. Doink. That's twice in a row he's throwing the ball right where four guys were converging. We're going to blitz again. Picked. Stay in bounds. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Our defense, our secondary has just come to play today. we got to be pressed. We've got to have at least 10 picks today alone in two games. Three games. Three games. But most of those are the last two games. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. This game. <laughs> he was wide open. I tapped it. That was a walk-in touchdown. Stone hands, and then they get the tip. They get the tip. God, this is terrible. Let's go. I'm glad we're up by so much. I would be raging so hard right now. I get the ball back we're just going to run every play and try and chew as much of this clock as we can and just get this game over with to hell with their stats truth has had multiple drop passes um, we, we just need to get this game over and now they're dropping passes like crazy too Almost had another pick. Hopefully they punt the ball. Yeah, Georgia was... Uh, we got disrespected. We're 11-1, and one, and we didn't even get in the top 15. Wisconsin's 10-3, and three, and they're in the natty against Clemson. All right, let's see if we can burn almost all of this four minutes off right now. They're going to bring in our backups. Let's just run the ball. No, they haven't yet, but let's just run the ball. All right, this will take us under four minutes after we uh, snap the ball. <clears throat> yeah, Georgia, we've, we've done... We've had so many picks. We had another pick six in this game. We had back-to-back uh, -back pick sixes in the last game. It's uh, Our secondary is just falling out. Let's go. Come on. Tick, 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 tick. Yes, third and inches. Doesn't stop the clock. Let's it run down even more. Yeah. I, I uh, have tried using the uh, playoff tool in the past. I would have put us in as a number four seed to play Clemson. But uh, 
it doesn't always save what you do and it, it almost corrupted my save file for Texas Tech and um, I had to reboot my PlayStation three times had to, had to shut down my stream and start it up again later so we're we're done using their tool now we're just gonna try to burn as much clock as we can to get this game over with There we go. Block him. We'll take four yards at a time. And from this spot on the field, I've burned four and a half minutes off in a game before. So this shouldn't be difficult. <laughs> What we don't want is for San Diego State to uh, start using their timeouts because they're down 41 points. This this game is toast. Hey, look who's in the game, George. Baby back bitch is running the ball. This is probably where I should go ahead and run two clock. How many yards does that give him? I give him over 100? Close. All right. He should get it in the next one or two carries. We've already burned three minutes off this clock. All right, one more carry and he'll have 100 yards. He's going to be player of the game even though he doesn't deserve it because all of his touchdowns came from one yard out. And he's out of the game. Tackle him. Thank you. I'm going to call timeout just so I can get my other running back back on the field. And it's going to be another one-yard touchdown. He's going to get six one-yard touchdowns in this game. He broke another record. All right, this is where we audible to the pistol dive to get these guys out of the way. All right, he took care of that. That's all right. That's just going to burn more time off the clock. And six touchdowns. It's still not our best. We had uh, Roundtree get eight against Kansas State in one game, year one of my Mizzou dynasty. So, and then we had Mahomes throw for eight touchdowns against Kansas State in another one.
Alright, probably have two or three plays and this game's going to be over. Alright, yeah, 13, unless we get a sack, it's probably going to be three plays. They're going to throw an incomplete pass in here somewhere. Let's just play cover two. Play center field as one of the safeties. Let the CPU play for us. Jimmy with the big tackle. That should eat the rest of the clock. Three, two, one. There it is, boys. Twelve and one. Definitely have to push the uh, difficulty up next year. Here's one of the, here's the pick six. Breaks that tackle and dives. All right. Now we get to do my favorite part, which is all the recruiting stuff. So get through all these screens. Check these game stats really quick. Through for 273, one touchdown, six rushing touchdowns, 81 for Jacques, 73 for Truth, only two pancakes. Hey T-Bone, thank you, I appreciate that. Four TFLs by our, middle, our left end, three sacks, five picks. All right, we got to make sure we move what few uh, freshmen that we have on the team that we want to keep. We got to move them this next week as well. I'm gonna update my schedule page here. advance so we can uh, take care of our depth charts so we don't lose a bunch of guys while that updates there we go updated schedule page so all the scores are in there so that Cincinnati game was very difficult Tulsa was kind of annoying Air Force was uh, Air Force was the one, so yeah, we'll push these we'll push the defensive sliders up some for next season. <clears throat> yeah, we need to go into this page. So all of these, this guy, I'm not too worried about because he's going to get cut. These two running backs, we're going to put one two in the depth chart because his 60s going away. Um, we'll move these two wide receivers up. These guys are all getting replaced anyway, so we'll move those two up so they don't leave. Put him as a starter. I'll go ahead and put these two guys as starters. Three guys, four guys. We'll move all the all the red shirt offensive linemen. Definitely move these two D tackles. We'll uh, move this seventy three. rest of them I'm not too worried about. Maybe move this freshman strong safety up to a starter so he doesn't go away. All right, so our halfback set a uh, career rushing record just barely by five yards. We only had him for one year, so we did all that in addition to what he did. We did break the school record for rushing touchdowns with 31 and 49 career, so that's good. So if you don't know, this is where you do is you go in here to depth chart and you start moving your uh, 
Moving your red-shirted guys to number one on the depth chart so they don't leave. I'm not worried about that quarterback, but I do want to move this running back. So he needs to go to one. And he needs to go to two. Wide receiver. We'll move Scott Jones. And Brett Bowen. Maybe we'll move this 67 since he's already been redshirted. But we can keep him around so we don't lose any more depth. <clears throat> we'll put the tight end one just for uh, just to be safe. We'll put this uh, 71 left tackle. Even though it says you're going to lose the red shirt, that's a lie, so don't worry about it. I don't care if this 60 guy goes away. Let's put this uh, let's put the 71. The sophomore. Make sure he's in there. Don't care about the 65 left end. How many ends? Yeah, we need to put the 67. We'll put the 71 right end. I will put this, this 67. Okay, Mullins and Mansfield. So we'll switch Mullins and Mansfield. Go. Is there another one down here? Hey ropes man, check it out. You had a pick six earlier. You you had a uh, we had a just an interception fest. We were picking balls off right and left. It was crazy. I think our secondary had over ten picks in the last two games. Plug in my controller, which is okay because we're not going to be playing, so it doesn't matter if it's plugged in or not. Yeah, no problem. So we beat uh, USF 5520, Temple 5614, and San Diego State in the Military Bowl 5911. They screwed us. They had us ranked number 18, even though we were 11 and 1. Didn't even get us in the top 10. Jimbo, I gotta put this uh, 70 overall there. Let's put this 66. All right, corners. We'll put this 72 sophomore. Strong safety, put the uh, 74 in there, and then we're done with this buff. All right, so this will keep all of our guys from transferring. We might have one. All right, I'm going to actually save it at this point. In case I screw something up, I can load it back in. Switzo, welcome in, man. How you doing? Dude, we just went 12-1 and one at uh, Central Florida in year one. And um, we're pretty close to getting a number one recruiting class as a one-star school. All right, so 
It says we're 17 right now. So let's advance and see what our final ranking is. We uh, we lost the first game of the season to uh, Air Force. Here, I'll show you. While this updates, I'll show you. Here's what our schedule looks like. So we had a 58-game winning streak for the head coach coming into the season. We left Texas Tech, and we lost the first game, and then we ripped off 12 straight after that. So that would be 71 straight if I hadn't pissed that game away. Um, and we won Coach of the Year. There we go. 12-1. and one. Thank you. And um, my record is 74, I'm sorry, 78 and 4. And I'm, I'm right there with, uh, right there with revamp. I think we both have as many natties as we have losses with our head coach right now. So I don't think the Iowa job's going to open because they, they did too well. Um, we can go into coaching carousel and just see what's open. I'm not going to switch schools, but let's go look and see what's available. Yeah, Auburn wants us. Stanford wants us. Look at these. Stanford's a two star. Auburn went three and nine. NC State wants us. I think he just signed an extension, so I don't think he's going anywhere. Yeah, Cincinnati wants us. We beat him. Like, hey, you're too good to be going to that school. Northwestern wants us. Iowa State wants us. <laughs> Charlotte. Charlotte doesn't want us. No, oh, they do. Okay. George, 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 look at this. San Jose State says, come on down. <laughs> Fresno, we will never, ever do a, 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 a dynasty with Fresno. I hate those fuckers. That green V needs to go away. George explained what the green V was for. I know it's for the valley, but I call them the uh, green vaginas. Everybody wants me to come coach there, except the one that we uh, intend to go, even Duke. I've done Duke before. Oregon State. Everybody wants me. <laughs> All right, now we're heading into the uh, defensive coordinators. So Iowa's K-State wants me. K-State was 1-11. They're a one-star school. <laughs> Hey, Lou, um, but see, Kirk and Star Trek didn't stay away from the Green V, did he? They want me to come back and be their offensive coordinator. I'm sure they do. Utah State. We're going to get a new offensive coordinator. We're going to get a new offensive coordinator. What did we get before we ever go out of there? I think I accidentally hit the wrong one. Offensive coordinator is level what? Hired from Duke. <laughs> so USF stole our offensive coordinator. Old Dominion and Rice won us. I've done Old Dominion before. I will uh, definitely be taking a 
two to three minute break here to get my lunch. But we want to get through this. East Carolina wants us. Um, the only the only school we would leave UCF for right now is Iowa, and probably not this year. They're not available, so we'll just keep building here. Hey, Switzo, if you have the uh, version 11 uniforms, East Carolina has some dope-ass uniforms, man. I'm sorry, not version 11, version 13. If you have the brand-new revamped, they have some really good, really good uh, uniforms to play with. I like the purple, I like the black, I like the yellow, they're awesome. T-Bone though, I am on uh, PS3. It's uh, really not difficult to get revamped on your PlayStation. It took me about two hours though. Um, you have to uh, install Hen and uh, Multiman and then you have to so that cracks your uh, PlayStation and then you download the entire game off the CD onto your hard drive <clears throat> and then once that's done then you install the um, revamped game files and then once that's done alright we're to the end now once that's done once that's done then um, Every time you load your start your PlayStation, you have to start Hen, start Multiman, tell it to load the game, and you don't need the disc anymore. Yeah, I have a physical copy switch, so that's why. So I have the disc, and uh, so it's funny as it goes to your menu, and it looks like here. If I hit start, it'll go in here, and it it uh, it'll pull up there. See, it tells me that it has a, a disc. But there's no disc in the PlayStation. So I, I have it locked away in a uh, like a safe so I don't uh, lose it. <clears throat> and I did the same thing with uh, College Hoop Hoops 2K8. I installed that entire game on my hard drive so both discs are locked away. That sucks, Witzo. Well, the first time I tried to do it, I it messed up and it wouldn't work. And I took a few days off, and then I think it was Jimmy Two Blunts gave me a video on the proper way to get it, all of the cracks installed. Um, and then I got that done, and it was working. But I still can't get the uh, playoff tool to work. I tried. Actually, I got it to work on an off-stream Dynasty. And we tried to do it on stream, and I had to uh, reboot my PlayStation three times and stop and start my stream. It was stupid. Yeah, Dark Dove, I don't know if I have that command set up on here. Um, look at the bottom of the screen. We have maxed out offensive and defensive coordinators. So we are going to have full upgrades and all of our players on offense and defense look at this so as good as we were that year and, and I'm level 42 as a head coach we're gonna be maxed out with our coordinators so we're definitely putting the um, the difficulty up I might even have to just go to default 50 sliders on on the uh, CPU because like I said we were using J kits Yeah, USF stole my offensive coordinator, and so we signed a a twenty level, a level thirty guy to replace him. Kind of love it. <clears throat> All right, so we are signed for four more years. So this is the exact same amount of time we were head coach at Texas Tech. All right, let's see if we uh, lost any of these backups. J.R. Reed's going to go in the fourth round. 
None of these guys are going to get drafted because they're not high enough overalls. I made sure everybody on the team was the right height and weight so that they get drafted. Man, I wish I had Madden 25. All right, draft reveal. We have to go look at Texas Tech, too. So he went in the fourth round. So we came from Texas Tech. Let's see how many of these guys. Because Jimmy Two Blunts, uh, Jimbo Pimp Nasty, Grimm, all those guys were on the Texas Tech team. Jimbo Pimp Nasty, 99 overall, first round pick. Hindsight Grimm, 98 overall, first round pick. Our stud D tackle. Our stud corner, Jimmy Two Blunts, was a first rounder. The other corner, look, we had three first round corners. Olivia Newton John. Our kicker went in the fourth round, guys. Look at all these drafts. Breezes went in the sixth round. Here, hold on a sec. I got to take a picture of this. My phone is blown up and I don't know why. I gotta take that picture just for the fact that uh, Olivia Newton John got taken in the fourth round. Alright, Shadow. I'm gonna write, write you down on here. Alright, so. I am Shadow is the 81 wide receiver. JT Gaming is the punter. Since he Bowen is the 81 center, we're going to move to guard. So Shadow will have to look. We'll look at this depth chart in a minute, and you can go through and figure out which one you want to be. Wow, that was a lot of draft choices. That was my old team. Notes transfers. We didn't have any openings. We signed 25 guys. Ropes, you're already on the team, man. Any attributes? I'll, we'll take a look at that. We'll take a look. All right. So this is our class. Gucci, get you in there too. All right. So we got this 84 kicker who's already, that's Team Ramrod's kicker. That's going to be Olivia Newton-John. <clears throat> uh, T-Bone. Lately what I've been doing is coming on at 10 o'clock in the morning during the week. It's not necessarily a normal schedule because I actually kind of like streaming at night, Tuesdays and Thursday nights. 49er George usually streams Monday, Wednesdays, and Friday nights. I'm a mod in his uh, chat along with Nine Lou, and so I watch his streams. I don't want to be streaming while he's streaming, so that's why I do more in the daytime. I have more time to do it, um, but I usually I also stream on Tuesdays and Thursday nights. But we've got the G12 has some games in there, um, and so I don't like going up head to head with them. And there are times that I'll stream for like four and five hours on a Saturday or a Sunday day. Um, but um, right now I'm doing more daytime streams, but it's usually. Um, 10 a.m. Central Time. I don't want to start. I could start even earlier than that, but um, a lot of my friends <laughs> aren't up that early. They're up late night streaming, watching, playing games and stuff, and so I kind of uh, wait as late as I can because these streams end up dragging into almost dinner time by the time I get done. If I do a six-hour stream, it's almost dinner time. So, since he Bowen has this center that's pretty goaded out, he's already mid-80s as a true freshman. This wide receiver is uh, I Am Shadow has this one. JT Gaming has this punter. This defensive end is available. Um, this wide receiver is available. This corner is available. Quarterback is available. Tackle, all these guys are available. Got a lot of offensive line, we got another tight end. We got some linebackers. This, this running back could start. He's got um, 92 speed. His acceleration is kind of eh. This guy's going to be a free safety. 
He could also play backup quarterback. This is a he's going to be this quarterback's going to get red shirt. He's just going to be a backup. He's a filler. We have a fullback. And this next year, um, this next year we're going to go hard after uh, running backs, defensive tackles. Let's check out our school rankings again. Because when we started this, the only A we had was my coach prestige. And now we got a championship contender up. And as I was telling these guys earlier, if you want this academic prestige to go up, you got to start your players sooner. So start a true freshman, start a redshirt freshman. Don't, don't make them wait until they're a, a junior to start, and this will go up. Okay, let me get through this. We'll get into the offseason um, before we start doing the recruiting board, and we'll get everybody set up. All right, so we're the number one recruiting class at the moment, but we don't know what USC has left to get or LSU. And we're a one-star school. We just got pushed up to a two-star because of what we did this year. How many more pipelines did we get? Because most of our guys come from Florida. So we have Alabama and Georgia along with Florida. Plus I have a DLC so I can pick an extra state to uh, be a pipeline. And we chose Texas because that's where I was head coach for five years. So we'll, we'll pick Texas again next year. Yeah, we don't need to go. Oh, that's done. So we're just going to advance and see where we are. Yeah, we should easily stay in the top five. I really want it to be the number one class. And this class could even be better. I did this. I did a sim-only dynasty where I was recruiting, um, just 100% recruiting and sim the games at Akron. And I signed five 80 overalls in one class with Akron. <laughs> they got, we got them so good, we moved them to the Big Ten and kicked Purdue out. Pull that down so it's not covering my whole face. Top class in the conference, you signed a top five class. We didn't get the number one. That's okay, because I figured those schools would sign some more players. We got the number three. So LSU signed one more five-star. That's what put them up ahead of us. Look at Texas Tech. Without me, they still had the fifth best. That's because all the shit, all the stuff we did there made their bonuses so well. They were like way down the list early in the year. All right, guys, position changes. This is an important week. This is where you set your uh, depth at each position so that you don't have the computer telling you you have to go get a tackle this year. All right. Why is this guy listed as a senior? He should be gone. I had him listed as a senior. had senior, junior, junior, freshman. This guy's getting cut. That doesn't mean that we're going to redshirt Alex Bradley. <laughs> what it means is we'll probably cut Brad Bryant. Brian Bryant now. He's going to get redshirted. He'll be gone. He'll be redshirted. Well, Bradley's going to start over Jones if Jones is back for another year because 89 throw power he's not going to beat an 89 throw power and 75 speed is going to make a huge difference since he plus 5 welcome in 
As soon as we're done with these position changes, I'm going to go get something to eat. Here you go, Lou. Baby back bitch is our number one running back. So this this is uh, this wide receiver belongs to I am Shadow. This guy's available. Both uh, all three of these are going to be ahead of those two with their uh, training. They'll jump ahead of them. So I might split these two and redshirt Morris and keep Yates. I don't know. We'll see what their training does. These two are definitely going. To work. I'm going to cut Beverly and maybe both of these sophomores. Get three tight ends for now. All right, so this is where we're going to move some guys because we need to balance these tackles. So we have two juniors and a freshman. 76, 77, 76, 74. He's going to be ahead of this freshman. 68. Let's move him to right tackle. So 65 is going away. Or could get kicked in the guard. One of these. He's a Juco. So these two are going to be higher than this Juco. So that means we could redshirt him. Yeah. Left guard. 74, 70, 76. 83. So we're going to kick to there. Kick to senior. What did I move that? Move the right guard? Alright, since you dropped from an 80 to a 77. But I, I want you to play. I don't want you to sit behind a, uh, a senior center. What we could, though. What I could do is move you back to center and move the senior to guard. There. So this 75 is going to go to right guard. Alright, so senior, freshman, freshman. He could get cut. He could get red-shirted. Although if I cut him, it's going to tell me I need a guard. So we'll see. Maybe I'll cut somebody else. Come back to offensive line. So I have an 84, 79 Juco, 67, 66. All right, so he's going to get red shirted. Um. Yeah, sure. Hold on one sec. Here, one sec. There. Um, <sighs> junior, freshman. This junior is definitely getting cut. We'll leave this guy alone. Good there. Like I said, we need to get some more defensive line. These a lot of guys are a lot of these guys are young. This D-tackle, this junior is going to get cut for sure. Outside. 76, 74. Okay, he'll get cut. Those two will play. He gets redshirted. He's gonna play. He's gonna get redshirted. He'll be a backup. 
What's our middle look like? Yeah, let's do this. Let's move this guy into the middle. Move this guy into the middle. Now we can get rid of these two guys completely. And the sophomore can go away. So we got some of our cuts here. Corners. We're going to need at least three corners this year. Free safety, strong safety. This is where I said this guy goes to free safety. 68 quarterback. But he's a 74 free safety. Hey, Swamp Thing, no problem. Not a problem at all. Tell you what, um, I can uh, I can set up a generic spreadsheet that's uh, open to anybody that has the link. And then uh, what you guys can do is just go in there and uh, like download it or save it or whatever. And uh, like copy it and use it as your own. So let me get through this and I'll, I'll show you guys how to do that. Because we can do, I think I have a template one set up already if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so if I post it in George's Discord, then it's already created. So we just got to get the link for you. All right, so we're going to need a strong safety. We're going to need three corners. Linebackers are good for now. We won't need middles. We're going to need some outsides probably. We're going to need some, definitely need to upgrade D tackle. And we're going to have to look for some uh, some bigger guys. Hey Swamp Thing, there you go. Click that link. And that's that should be a, I'm going to open it in my uh, laptop here. That should be, yeah. So that is a template that anybody can use. So you can just go under file and then uh, make a copy or, or download it. You can download it yourself. So let's go to my depth chart page while you guys are looking at that other one. So on this depth chart, I color code them so the seniors are in yellow so I can easily tell who's a senior and count how many they are. The red ones with the X means that player is actually being red shirted that season. The ones in black with the red in print, the R in parentheses means he's already had a red shirt. So you can do your own system about how you want to code these so you know who's what. But that's what those colors stand for. Current red shirt, previously been red shirted, current senior. The pink on mine just tells me that I have a uh, member of, of the chat that's on the team. They've redeemed points. So I can tell in the depth chart who's taken. So that's how we that's how I use it. So basically it's just so that I can mentally see the entire roster at one time. Because when you're looking at the roster here, you're only looking at one position at a time. And uh, I need to see the whole team at one time. Let's go back to this offensive line real quick. So we've got, he's getting red shirted. He's a Juco. These guys have both been red shirted. I wanna make sure I don't have two guys being red shirted in the same year at the same position. All right, we're good. And we have a bunch of wide receivers we can get rid of. Any of these guys have good strength? Can we move any of these guys to running back? Break tackle. What elusive. Dobzinski. That's the dude that took the ball off his face mask. 87 carry. 86 speed. Six two two fourteen. We could possibly move this guy to running back. Let me look at running back one more time. It's gonna be better than this guy. Definitely gonna be better than that guy. 
He's a junior. How many guys do we have with the red shirt? All these guys are available except for him. Let me check Dobzinski and see what he goes to when we move him to halfback. Does he at least be a good receiving back? Acceleration isn't that great. He's a 69. Be better off just playing the freshman. Yeah, unknown, I don't have a Discord. I'm just on everybody else's Discord. I have a separate section on George's, but I haven't set mine own up. Alright, so... I think we're done with posi position changes. I'm getting hungry. I need to get this... I need to get on to the, uh, the last stage so I can go get something to eat, and then we can settle in on the recruiting and uh, setting up everybody's players. So, it literally will take me two minutes. Alright, training results. We have no 90 overalls, but freestyle is an 89, strong safety, 88, salty donuts an 88, Peyton Crumbs an 87 as a senior, so I, I see why you want another one at ropes. This guy's actually a senior, but he's, we're going to play the other guy. Pimp Daddy. Puncher's going away. Two please, he's a junior. Music's a straight junior. Ass Salad's going away. Baby back, bitch. Went up six overall. Got a little bit of a speed bump here. Bitch is probably going to play better. Truth with 96 speed. Bowen with 93 speed. Hey, Cincy, we got a, we got a dude on the team named Bowen. We got to improve our wide receiver speed a lot. So our left tackle is a 78. Our left guard is an 84. Our center is an 81 because that's Cincy. 77 right guard, 76 right tackle. Yeah. Freestyle. Donut. Our D tackles are open for anybody who wants a D tackle. Outside linebackers are open on that side. Middles are open. Pimp Daddy's up to an 86 with 94 speed, 98 XL. So we got three. You guys there starting free safeties open starting strong safeties open he's cut he's cut five in your speed okay let's get off this page I don't think I can do it on this page all right cut players one of my favorite pages get rid of all the trash We got 14 players to cut, guys. <laughs> 87 kick power. Don't need you. Normally, in in my own offline stuff, I would redshirt this freshman and play this senior. But I don't want to redshirt... I don't want to redshirt JT, I want to get him in there playing, so we're going to get rid of this guy because we're going to have this other punter for four years. <laughs> Look, the freshman's already better than the senior here. 92 kick power. Good there. <laughs> really? They gave me a 40 overall? These freshmen. Yeah, you are gone. And you are gone. Let's 
juniors going because we got a bunch of younger guys that are the same overall. This guy's toast. Alright, so the 68's going away because we can get a better we can get better than that. The 65's going away. We'll leave the 70 because I have a senior here. We'll leave in the 73 because we want to redshirt this freshman and that'll leave us with two guys at the position the following year. Tight ends are good. This 84 speed senior is gone. This 85 speed sophomore is gone. And the 84 sophomore is gone. We gotta get rid of these slow ass receivers. I'll deal with this 86 because he can run in the slot. But we need to free up some space for the uh, underclass guys. I really don't want to carry two, but I will. So we can redshirt this guy. I know. This halfback, 88 speed. But we don't need him because we have three freshmen ahead of him. He'll never see the field, so he's he's toast. And this guy's toast. He's getting redshirted. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this senior with the 59 speed. Johnson's getting redshirted. Bradley's going to start, and Jones is going to be a backup. And I know I cut one extra guy that's on purpose. And in fact, I'm going to go through and look and see if there's even more guys we can cut. <sighs> Let's see. Start, start. What is this guy's coverage? This is 75. He could probably back up at one of the safety spots. Man zone press. That allows me to redshirt him, and we have a decent backup. So we'll let this Goolsby dude back up free safety. And uh, we're going to go ahead and redshirt Hagen and Savoy and rock with the rest of that. So. Ropes, if you want this corner, he's going to sit a year, but that means when this guy graduates, this guy comes in as a redshirt freshman and he'll be one of the starters. So that's actually a good thing. <clears throat> All right, senior, junior, sophomore. Just remind me when we get to that point. I'm going to keep this right outside linebacker for now because we can always cut him next year. See, we're going to lose this guy, and then he'll be a senior. So we could always we could always kick this freshman over to back up left outside, or move him into the uh, middle linebacker. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to redshirt this Corbett and play the younger ones so they progress, and that way we don't have two seniors. We'll have two juniors next year, two sophomores. And we're going to bring in at least two more D-tackles to automatically redshirt. So this end, he's getting redshirted. He'll step in next year. This guy will start next year in the mid-80s, low-80s. So we'll redshirt this guy, which will put these two on the same class. But we can replace this 72 with somebody else. We'll find somebody else in this one because we're going to have to replace Freestyle next year. If he wasn't so good, I'd redshirt him again. This guy's getting redshirted, so he'll be a junior, sophomore, senior. This senior will get moved somewhere. He'll be a backup somewhere. He might even start at left guard as a senior. All right, we're done cutting players. We 
City. Near Zach Attack. Hey, thanks for the follow, man. I appreciate that. This should take us to the page where we set our schedule and all that, and that's when I'm gonna take a, a two minute break and go make make that shake, and I'll be right back after that. I'm gonna uh, cut my uh, game sound here. I have music that plays on my Be Right Back page, and I don't want that bleeding over it, so. This will be quick. Um, I've already got those set. We don't need to do custom conferences or any of that stuff. If Iowa dicks around too long, we might uh, take somebody that's really crappy in the ACC and move them to the American and move us to the ACC. Especially if we get screwed in the rankings again next year. All right, so this is where I'm going to pause. We're going to, I'll be right back, grab something to eat, and then I can focus on the other stuff without being starving. And we'll, uh, we'll set up your players. We'll have to do the red shirts and the depth chart and all that. And when I advance to week one, no, there's team management. I can do it here. That's right. All right, I'll be right back, guys. Give me two minutes.
All right, we're back. <clears throat> Controller here. All right. <clears throat> Before we do all this stuff let, and do the uh, red shirts, let's get everybody on the team first. Let me go through the ones I already know. <clears throat> and some of these guys, if we uh, want a different name, we can take care of that later. I just want to make sure I get you in as your placeholder and know who is who. Same thing with uniform and all that stuff. Let me just get you on the team first, and then we can uh, fix the rest of this later. this way and well let me put a number in all right whatever <clears throat> rocky top hey welcome in yeah we were at uh, texas tech for five years won four natties and then uh, we left and went to UCF, and we uh, we just went 12 and one, but got screwed in the rankings. I think we've. Did you guys see what we were? The final ranking, I didn't notice. I think we we're like 17 or something like that. All right. So JT's done. We got to put Shadow at wide receiver. That's spelled right. I'm sure I'll be told if I'm wrong. <laughs> All right. We can come back and fix those. Yeah, we're still an American. We might move to the ACC in another year or two if we keep dominating the shit out of these guys. <clears throat> tight spot needs to be on here, but I haven't seen tight spot since he uh, redeemed. Let's get Cincy in here. I'll just leave you Bowen because the other one's Bowen too. And you want number 15, right? Hey, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Let me, I'll leave you at 12 and we'll go find who has 15 and switch it. Can't remember which one of yours, which one of these was you. We're going to leave it on this one for now. If we have to change it later, we will. <clears throat> yeah, 
you're not going to be a six foot one center. And you're not going to be. Yeah. Five on strength. Okay. Because you're already pretty good on uh, all of your blocking down here. The only other thing would be uh, injury, stamina and injury. So we'll have to find out who 15 is so we can fix that. It's got to be a wide receiver or a quarterback. Stop Zinski. Fuck this guy. Come on, trigger. There we go. DR Shadow, one of the defensive end, right? Probably this. Which one was it? This was the Juco, right? You got the freshman. Probably want the Juco because the Juco is going to start much quicker. If you guys want something different as far as names, that's fine. Just let me know. <clears throat> that's saved for now. We'll come back and fix that. I just want to get on the team. Ropes, you wanted another corner. So where's this freshman? What do you want to name this one? Ropes Pimpact, okay. <laughs> um, I adjust them so that they are at least uh, draftable size. Phone, since I'm already in here. Corners have to be five nine one seventy at the minimum. That's the bare minimum. We can kick it up to five ten, so you're not quite so short. <clears throat> And you uh, actually redeemed on the last one too. So if you want to bump your guy up points, some points, you can do that because you redeemed to get on a team, but you're already on the team. And then I think you uh, forgot. No problem, unknown. Give me one sec. Let me let me see. Uh, USN, welcome in, man. Five to your speed, okay. And ropes, what do you want to? You you can give me uh, catching. your uh, skills taken care of first you wanted five to speed makes you 93 that's good <clears throat> and you are you wanted 17 let's see if that's available yep and I don't know which one of these you want 63207 at wide receiver. That's almost a little bit it's my it's my height and a little bit less less than what I weigh. <clears throat> well, we had to change your name too, didn't we? What was that? Ash catch them all. <clears throat> 
Yeah, you came in and redeemed, and then you weren't around, so I just put your uh, your uh, streamer name on there, so I knew which player was yours. There you go. That'll be easy to tell who you are. <laughs> Alright, so we got that. Shadow's in there. Since he's in there, we're still waiting on tight spot. Gucci, are you still in here? <clears throat> we got a freshman running back, Gucci, if you want to be a running back. We also have this quarterback. We got it. Which one? Running back or the quarterback? Quarterback's going to start. Running back's probably going to be a uh, one or two. Depends on how bitch plays. Halfback? Okay. Oops. I hit the wrong button. Let's try this again. <clears throat> particular number you want that we have I can always I can always go find one of the other ones I can give you a single digit number two You've got several single digits in here and <clears throat> whatever you want them 24 All right, let me give it 25 and we'll go find who 24 is you want one I can make you one make you one as a running back we'll know who you are on the field for sure Anything you want changed on the appearance? Let me make sure he is. He needs to be 5'10, 175, so that works. <clears throat> Just a dark visor? Okay. So, Gucci's in there, Shadow's in there, Cincy's in there, JT. Am I missing anybody? Did somebody else redeem that I didn't see? Let's scroll back in three. Shadow wants to go up five. Let's go back to Shadow. You're at the end, right? <clears throat> Shadow, what do you want those five points to go into? I didn't, I didn't see that you said anything when you redeemed. You just redeemed them. See what your uh, specific hit power, power moves, block shedding, play wreck. You could actually play a little bit of linebacker too. <clears throat> Two and block shed, okay. Hey, uh, George and Lou, I found a, uh, I found an athlete that was seventy-seven, seventy-eight on the offensive line. And 77, 78 on defensive line, and low 70s on the linebackers. That was for uh, Utah State. Three in the play rack. <clears throat> and you'll you'll get to play. If I don't redshirt you, you're going to get to play because freestyle is probably going to he'll he'll kick in and play some D tackle. Worst case is. You're going to kick in and play some D-Tackle, too. Voodoo Hendrix, we can do that.
Run a different number than 62. That's more of an offensive lineman number. It's nothing in the 90s. So it's all 70s, 69, 62. Unless you want to go a uh, different number. Make it you make yourself right more recognizable on the field. <clears throat> okay. Who is 24? Somebody somebody wanted somebody wanted a number. Oh, it was Gucci and we ended up going with one. Okay, never mind. So, takes care of all of that. Let me scroll back through the chat real quick here. <clears throat> As my dogs go nuts, Gucci's there, Ropes is there, Unknown, got your upgrade. I think that's it. My chat's not going to scroll back any further than that. Yeah, we can change Chrome. So we've got these single digits. We've got these in the teens. Three of them in the 20s. Five, okay. <clears throat> Let me get you and Jimmy Two Blunts confused though, because you're f you're five and he's two. <laughs> but Jimmy's got the huge beard, so it'll be easier to keep track of who he is. And Pimpex thirty-five. Still have a uh, free safety and a strong safety open for anybody that wants that. Pimp Daddy's there. Middle linebackers are open. Left, left outside's open. All of our D tackles are open. Most of the offensive line. Tight ends are open. Um, we'll have more wide receivers in next year. We're going to get a couple more running backs in this year. And we have a third string quarterback. <clears throat> this guy's starting. I don't know that I like him wearing number eight. Let me see. We'll go with three. In here, I'm going to change his name. I like Alex Bradley. I'm going to change his name to a buddy of mine from college. This dude taught me how to dance. that covers everything except tight spot I don't know what tight spot wants to do so if you guys run into tight spot anywhere tell him to uh, come over come find me on stream and hit me up and we'll uh, we'll get him on the team because he's still not redeemed I haven't put him on the team <clears throat> all right so now we got to come in here Now you guys are going to have to put up with me doing a lot of data entry, so give me one second. We're just going to go to depth chart. You can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> In fact, I'm going to take myself off. And we can make this a little bit bigger. Alright, 
have to figure out how many seniors we have, what our needs are, what our pipelines are. So we'll come back for that in a minute. <clears throat> so now let's go through and update this. So quarterback. He's going to get red shirted, so we already know that. He is a senior. So we're going to have to recruit another quarterback this year, and that's okay. And then we can red shirt them. Gucci, I don't think I'm going to redshirt you. I think I'm going to let you go. See what happens. <clears throat> you, got, you got second best speed. Alright, so we've got... We will redshirt this second pull back so we get another year get them off the same year you can see how all of these guys are getting upgraded as we go down the list how uh, we've improved this team a little bit let's get rid of this Move my microphone all right so Junior, 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 freshman, 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 sophomore, freshman. He's definitely getting redshirted. He's definitely getting redshirted. One, two, three, four, five. I think I'm going to redshirt Shadow, Shadow Morris and Hill, just because um, I don't want all those guys losing a year now, and I'll have to redshirt them again later otherwise. Um, wish Dobzinski was the one that didn't have a redshirt, because I would redshirt him now. That's right. We can replace that 71 and maybe even that 70. I'll deal with that in a minute. <clears throat> All right, he's red shirted. Oh, oops, wrong one. Seven, seven, nine, seven, three. Freshman's getting redshirted for sure. Sophomore is not getting redshirted. And that is a senior. So you can see our left tackle is not outstanding, but his uh, replacement, the 76 that's getting redshirted, will be higher than him, significantly higher than him next year as a redshirt freshman. So that'll improve. He's he got moved. This is a 71 and a 70.
Hey, well, let's go. Let's go, Eagles. Hey, how you doing, man? We are in the process of uh, getting ready to do our uh, preseason uh, recruiting board. But I got to go through here and uh, remove, redo our depth chart so we can figure out uh, what we need where. There. I'm going to redshirt this guy. Even though he's a 78, this uh, we got to get some other guys playing, so in it, wrong one. Plus, we want to break up these classes. <clears throat> We're going to be jumping into uh, recruiting here very shortly. Freshman red shirt. He's gonna be red shirted. Sophomore senior. Corners. Let's see. He's definitely redshirted. Ropes, I'm going to redshirt your other guy, like I said, so that uh, get an extra year out of him. Junior, junior, freshman. So the uh, team overall is going to take a little bit of a dip because uh, we're replacing some of these guys uh, with a little lower overalls, but that's all right. It'll jump back up next year. After we get these guys uh, redshirted and they develop, then uh, they'll bounce right back up. So we're going to have to get a uh, strong safety. game's going to tell us we have to have a strong safety. That's okay. So, 84 freshman. Let's <clears throat> double check. All right. Definitely for red shirting him. Gucci, I'm trying to decide if I red shirt you or not. If I redshirt you, you'll come in probably as a starter unless I happen to get some 80 overall running back. Um, you definitely have the best speed. Better than these two guys. Shirt him. You don't need all these wide receivers, so... <clears throat> We redshirt these three guys. That leaves us with these three top ones and these two down here. That's what I think I'm going to do. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. This guy's not an X. He's an R. Yep, yep, well we had to get depth filled in first. 
but um, that's that's why once I get it so that I have depth and so we're gonna definitely go get two more ends we're probably gonna get two more tackles um, at least one more outside um, need a strong safety at least two corners if not three fullbacks good tight end will need one running back we really just need one stud and we'll need another quarterback one guard although we could kick him in the guard so we really don't need any offensive lineman at all to be honest one guard one tackle would work which is good that saves us a lot of points we can put elsewhere all right so that's all good that's all good I can always pull a red shirt off one of these guys if I absolutely have to. Get injuries or some shit like that. Make sure I got this done right. He's red shirted. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm going to red shirt Gucci for the moment. If it gets to be an issue, then I'll take the red shirt off. Right in, we're gonna redshirt him. Got the left tackle, guard, center's gonna start. He's gonna go here. Yellow means they are a uh, senior and we have to replace them. They are graduating. So it easily tells me where our weak spots are and how many seniors we have. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. So we have 12 seniors. So at the bare minimum, we have to get 12 new players. But we're probably going to get close to 20. So I can replace some of these lower level players with higher guys, higher overalls. So we're going to over recruit for at least the first three years. Finish this shake. And offensive line can definitely use some upgrades. If you look at the left guard, um, we have a senior, but then we have two guys in the low 70s. So if we find a 78 or 79, um, he'll replace this 70. Same thing with tackle. We could get rid of, he's going to start next year, and he'll be in the mid-80s. Um, he'll be in mid-80s. This guy, we're probably going to kick him in and play left guard next year. And then that would allow us to get rid of this 70 and get a, uh, a better overall player. Maybe he can start the next year. I don't know. <clears throat> left end. Voodoo. Actually, I don't want. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to redshirt you. You want to redshirt him. I'm gonna redshirt him. All right, so our kicker and punter are not going to be redshirted because they're the only players at the position. Our center and our quarterback are going to start, so they're not getting redshirted. The rest of these guys are getting a redshirt, so we can get another year out of them and another year out of growth. This 78 overall freshman, um, he'll be like an 84 as a redshirt freshman. So he'll be a 99 by the time he's a junior. Same thing with Shadow. Shadow's going to be in the 90s by the time uh, junior season rolls around. <clears throat> so 
So we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 seniors. And I just let the uh, game do the depth chart, except for the kick returners. I always put the fastest, most agile people back there because we're using them, it's not the computer. <clears throat> so Truth is going to run it back. Acceleration. We'll put Chrome as the backup kick and punt returner. Actually, what I'll do is I'm not going to use, I'm going to use Shadow. Oh, get a red shirt. Never mind. We're good. Impact is red shirted too. Yeah, these are all red shirted. We're good. <clears throat> all right. Custom pipeline state. I said we were taking Texas because that's where I came from. So we have the same four states there Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Texas. Do our schedules and then we'll look at our needs. Three open weeks to start the season, I don't think so. So Cincinnati, USF, Memphis. Hey, we get to play SMU and Navy this year. We have UCLA on the board. UAB, Ball State, Fresno State. So we're gonna have to spread that around. Let's try somebody different. No edits for what? I wish it would show you their overall on this page so I knew what I was going up against. Oh, I edit the schedule. We're not going to start the game, the season with three open weeks play Hawaii um, but we'll be home away home away home away home away we'll be home He's ranked 11th. Hey, let's play Florida State, guys. Should have, all right, it's 12 games, so we're going to play off, play two off. It's because they don't give us any off weeks down the stretch. We play every game, so we got a lot of open weeks to start the season. We could have open, play two, open, play two, open. We could do that. UCLA is week seven, so let's see if we can move them to another week. Yeah, there we go. Make them come to us. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Yep. All right, we're going to go to Hawaii, and we'll make UCLA come to us. And we'll make this open. That way... This works better. Oh, I hate Fresno State. Let's play somebody else. Yeah, Kansas State sucks. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to play Texas Tech just yet, do we? We've already played uh, Syracuse. Play Oklahoma State. 
Florida State, Oklahoma State, Hawaii, and UCLA. So we could play Florida State, and then next year we could add in Miami of Florida and then and, uh, actual Florida. Back in the uh, NCAA 13, um, you would schedule games in states where you're trying to get recruits because one of the things that the recruits wanted was um, uh, a game in their home state. So you would promise a recruit that they would play a game in their home state. So if you recruited somebody from California, then you'd have to go play a team in California to fulfill that promise. So that was one of the cool things that... It actually made promises worth something. You had to fulfill a, a specific promise or you got a negative thing on your school. This is not easy. Oklahoma State's gonna kick our ass again. Florida State, Oklahoma State, Hawaii, UCLA. This is definitely a tougher schedule. And I'll push the difficulty up a little bit on defense. We'll incrementally move it up. <clears throat> so. We could make Florida State a, uh, a neutral site game, too, if we wanted. Set location so they're not coming to ours. Not giving me very many options here. It's in Georgia. We don't want to go to Georgia. All right, Hard Rock Stadium. That's Miami, right? come back in and uh, write all this down it's in Jacksonville all right at least it's uh, in the state of Florida I don't want to go to like Georgia to play another Florida team in a neutral site all right so we have that we have that all this is done all right so now let's go back to the depth chart and let's find out what our needs are so we'll write them in here so we know we need a quarterback We need one halfback, but we'll take two. Because remember, we only have 12 seniors. So if we recruit 25 guys, we're going to have 13 guys get replaced. So we could always replace two running backs for next year. It's not a big deal. I mean, if we get an 80 overall running back, I might have to switch Gucci's player. <clears throat> Don't need a fullback. We can get rid of this 81, I'm sorry, 71 sophomore. So we're looking at two wide receivers, two good wide receivers. We need a tight end because we have a senior. This senior is going to get replaced by a good freshman sophomore. This 76 is going to come over and play left guard. So. We have a junior there. So we're looking at basically a guard, two guards, two guards and a tackle, maybe two guards and two tackles. So let's put tackle two, guard two. No center needed whatsoever. <clears throat> Left end, right end, we're losing two ends. We don't have any juniors, but if we can replace the 71, the 72, we can, uh, so we need two D ends.
Defensive tackle, we have one guy that's going to be a senior. So let's just put one D tackle for now until we see what's available. If we can get two, we'll go get two, and we'll uh, split up these freshmen at the bottom. Outside linebacker, we have two seniors graduating. We have two juniors behind them. So we're gonna say two. We're gonna say three outside linebackers. If we could get, it would be really good. So if we could get one really good outside and just two backups, that'll be fine. Two, two guys in the high 60s, low 70s, but we'll get one that's 76 or higher. That would be good. That would work. Middle linebacker, we have one that's graduating. So I'm going to say two because these guys are nothing special. So two middles. Corners, we're going to need. We have a senior, three juniors. So I'm going to say, so, so we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six guys next year. So probably just two corners. You need a free and a strong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's our seniors. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So that's 21 players. So we don't have to get 25. 21 will work. All right, that's what we're looking at, guys. Yeah, well, with this many juniors and seniors coming up, um, if I add uh, two corners, then we can replace him the next year. Because these guys are all going to be starting, right? So if I add two, that replaces him and replaces him. And that would take care of two of the juniors when they graduate so that's what I said we have 21 so if we added four more guys that would take care of another corner here um, we could take care of another defensive tackle here I mean there's we got room we have flexibility so if we just say 21 and we over recruit we're good shrink this down so I can bring my camera back on screen here All right, now the fun stuff begins. Now we have to uh, go in here and pick our players. Make sure that's trash. Got to save that for later. Tight spot is the only one I have left. I haven't redeemed, so we have to redeem him at some point. I have to write this down on a post-it so that I uh, have it on hand when I'm looking and I don't have to keep referring back to the other page. So give me one sec while I write this down by hand.
All right, now we should get uh, a little bit better players, but we're still a two-star school, so we're not going to have a ton of four-stars coming to want to play for us right now. Um, it'll be an incremental thing. All right, I can put that in my laptop so I have it in front of me. All right, so now let's go start looking at these guys. <clears throat> All right, George and Lou, if you guys are around here, this is your favorite part, man. I know Revamp is streaming, so people want to go watch. Uh, want to go watch him play? I I totally understand. But uh, anybody else that wants recruiting, this is what we're here for. Does it say we have a need anywhere? It says we need a quarterback because we have to have three. We already knew that, and we need a strong safety. So that's good. Those are two things we said we already needed. Let's see what we improved on. Hey, we have no more D's, so that's good. Um, on Discord, we have a... Uh, I gotta load up Discord. We have a chart on George's Discord for um, these letter grades and what they equal on your bonuses. So I believe it's on recruiting page. Yeah. So this coaching prestige, it's an A plus. If that's the first thing on a uh, recruits list that's important to them, that's uh, worth 180 bonus points. If it's the number two thing, it's worth 120. If it's the number three, it's worth 60. D minus, if you see a D minus on any of these on your team, you're getting zero points. So really, um, C and C plus isn't bad. Anything below a C is not going to be great. If you So if you had straight Cs, it would be worth 120 points on your bonus. Um, straight C plus, that's worth 150. Um, B minuses are worth um, 180 total. So once you get into the Bs, A's and Bs, you're, you'll rack up a lot of uh, points. So you're, you're looking for guys that have a lot of green and yellow. So I'm going to keep that up on another screen here so I can see what's going on. Let's check the Spark 100 first and see if there's anybody in here who likes us. Usually they don't this early. Hey, wow. All right. Yep. So defensive end, we have a four-star D end. Now, on defensive ends, I prefer to have a squat of 600 so that they have really good tackle ability. So this guy is kind of marginal. He'll probably go down, won't he? He'll, he'll probably be, he might be a bust and drop to like a 69 or something like that, 68. So I'm not necessarily, necessarily going to put him on the board because we have him as number one um, because of that squat. Now this athlete here, he could be a quarterback. He's 6'5", 212. He's probably a wide receiver. So... C catch, C spec catch, C route, C traffic. He doesn't have B's in his throw power or accuracy, so it's not a quarterback. He's basically, um, let's get C. He could probably play linebacker, C tackle, B pursuit. He's kind of a crappy linebacker, crappy DB. Eh. And he's definitely not a linebacker because his squat needs to be in the fives and six hundreds. So he's a DB or a wide receiver. And we, we don't want a four five DB or wide receiver at all. This guy is a, a DB with not great coverage. So we don't want him either. So there's really nobody in the top 100 that we're interested in. So I just go there first to see if there's anything. Now I come under here on Deal Breaker and I always put no because we don't want somebody that we find that we are interested in and all of a sudden they block us out because um, 
our conference sucks or some one of the, whatever their deal breaker is. So we just put no because we're not interested. And with uh, UCF, I'm going to put top tens. But if I was like at Texas State, or I'm sorry, if I was at Texas Tech um, with my old dynasty, I would only look top five. Because we don't want to be competing with a bunch of other teams. We want to be as high up the board as possible. But with this team, we definitely want top ten schools. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you something here. For those of you that haven't seen me recruit before, we're going to go back to this depth chart page for one second. I'm going to show you something. It's time. Oops. This is what we do. Sorry, I have an open browser for my uh, chatbot. Hold on. My earbud just died, so give me one second while I switch them out. All right, now I can hear you in my other ear this time. So, this is what we do. We find out what our needs are. We just did that on the other page. When we went through and figured out how many guys we we uh, how many guys are graduating, how many guys are redshirted, what guys we want to upgrade, what guys we want to replace. Um, a JUCO isn't bad to have on your list if you're a bad team, but right now we're beyond JUCOs unless we run out of um, usable players. So we already figured out the size of our class. We found out what our wants are. So we're going to target our needs first. Our needs are running back, um, defensive end, corner, um, some of these linebackers. We don't need starters at offensive line. And we will take a, a really good player if he's a low lock, but we're not going to go hard after high overall offensive linemen because we've already got most of our starters. Okay. Same thing with tight end. We've already got three guys, so we don't need a, a stud unless one falls in our lap. Wide receiver, we're kind of the same way. We don't need starters. We just need bodies, but we'll take higher overalls. The thing with the low lock is you're going to find quarterbacks, halfback, and wide receiver in low lock pretty easy. It's the tight end, offensive line, defensive line. Those guys aren't going to be as easy. Um, we have to get a strong safety, so that has to be a need. Otherwise, it's going to give us a walk-on. I mean, we could replace them. We could over-recruit free safety or corner and move them to strong, but it's going to it's going to give us a walk-on at strong safety if we don't get somebody. And uh, the guy we have that's going to start next year, he'll be a junior. So we might as well go find a decent guy that's going to step in and start in two years. Free safety is not important because we already have our starter and we're red-shirting him. So target the needs first. Low lock, like I said, quarterback, halfback, wide receiver, athlete. You're going to find a lot of those guys in low lock, and they're going to be some good players. In fact, the quarterback that we just signed, the number one quarterback in the class, nobody was interested in him. We threw him on the board like in week two. So you don't need to put those guys on your board early. I would spend more time on the O-line, D-line, corners, linebackers, tight ends. Put those guys on your initial board and come back for the low lock uh, skill players because there's just a ton of wide receivers um, and we don't need a starting quarterback so we just need a quarterback um, I really prefer athletes to play quarterback if you're going to run the spread athletes to play DB if they're also a wide receiver like I said during the one game I want guys that can catch the ball for interceptions and spec catch also helps with interceptions yep so what we do is when we put we're going to put 35 guys on the board we're going to fill it completely so that we're on all of their boards in week one. We're going to scout. You can only scout 20 out of the 35. So we're going to scout the top 20. After we advance to week one, we're going to scout the remaining players that are on the board. And once we're done with all of that, we'll see where we stand. Um, if they're at the top of the board or all the way down the board, where we're, where, where we're at with each one of those guys. Um, let me fix my camera here. Um, we have insta commit 
So anybody that we're number one on, we're not gonna uh, we're gonna offer those guys right away. If we're not number one, we're gonna wait until we're number one, or we'll wait until their visit week. If we're not number one, we have to offer them the week of their visit, or you'll get a, a big negative result on your visit. I learned that the hard way with like three guys. If you don't have ins to commit, then you're gonna offer every single player a scholarship in week one. So you're gonna scout them in preseason, finish scouting them in week one. Then you're going to offer every single player a scholarship in week one unless you have insta commit. And that gives you a little bit of a bonus. It kicks you up their high, the list a little bit higher. Um, because holding it, if you don't have insta commit, holding that, that offer until later doesn't do you any good. So once we go through week one and we finish um, scouting and offering all the guys, whatever points we have left over, we're going to spread out up across our board. If we have a small list of needs, we're gonna give more points to the needs. Then we're gonna filter those down 200 points or so to everybody. And then we're gonna advance the week and go to week two. And then we'll find out and when we hit week two, how many of those guys um, are attainable. So you're gonna see some guys are gonna be a negative 1,000 and some guys are gonna be up 200. So the ones that are 1,000 points or 1,000 points behind, they're gone. We're, we're not going to mess around with them. We're going to kick them off the board, and we're going to go add new players back to the board. We're going to scout them um, and go from there. The first year we did uh, UCF this past season, we had 35 guys on the board, and after week one, we had 10. We had to put 25 guys on the board in, at the beginning of week two. So what I will do today is we'll fill this board up We'll scout, we'll go to week one, we'll finish scouting, we'll offer, we'll put the points, and we'll advance to week two, and then we'll see where we stand, and then I'm going to stop the stream, and we'll finish, we'll start the new season um, on my next stream, because we're going to play a game right away, and I don't want next season's game on this um, stream, this VOD, because I archived them to YouTube, and then it'll be a separate season, so I'll even see um, season two, episode one. So that's, that's what, what the plan is for here. But anyway, so you're going to remove guys, add new ones, and scout. That's the beginning of week two. Like I said, offer scholarships unless you have insta commit. Give out the remaining points. Week two, we're going to reassess and go back for low lock. If you follow Param Crow, he likes to do a low lock in week three. I like to do it in week two. If they don't have a scholarship, um, ropes is possible this weekend, but I'm leaning towards like Monday, taking the weekend off. Um, Param likes to go to week three to get his low lock, but there's no point in waiting till week three. You can get him in week two because all those schools that are going to offer early scholarships are going to do it in week one. So week two, you're going to find a bunch of really good players with no scholarships. Those are the low lock guys you want to put on your team. And by low lock, we're talking about, we're talking about right here, their lock percentage. We're, look, we're going to look at guys under 25%. The closer they are to being 100, the closer they are to committing. And your goal is to get them to 50% as quick as possible so you get a visit. But first, you have to find players that the other schools aren't recruiting so you can go get them. When you're at a big school, you can recruit anybody you want. But when you're in a, a small school, you got to steal as many of these prospects as possible, and that's where we do it in week one and two, week three. <clears throat> so like I said, week two, we reassess, we add low locks. Um, visits we schedule those as early as possible we don't save them for later you'll see when you're scheduling uh, visits if you push them off to later in the season you get more points um, that is a tricky thing because if you're um, really close to another big school and they get them in there first they might commit them before you ever get your visit so I schedule visits as early as I possibly can I don't worry about the the one or two or three hundred point difference just get them in and then we'll come back in week eight, which is why I always prefer to have a buy in week eight. And we're going to look at the 73% locked guys. And by a 73% locked, I'm going to show you what I mean by that. If you're not aware of this. This is an example of 73% locked. See? It says 73% locked. That's the highest any player can get without being committed to a school. You can see North Carolina is first place and they have a visit scheduled for week 14. 
but they stopped at 73% because North Carolina didn't offer them a scholarship. There's no scholarship offered. And at 73%, if you see a guy like this with no scholarship, ignore the visit. If there's no scholarship, they're at 73%, and you see a bunch of little incremental green up arrows, that means North Carolina, or whoever the top school is, took them off their list completely. It's not that they stopped giving them points. They cut them off their list. Usually that happens when they have multiple high overall players at the same position, and one commits. And then they remove the other guy off their list. So all of a sudden now we're back, we're back on their board and we're good to go. So if you see a 73% locked guy like this, no, no scholarship offer, and all these little incrementals, go put that guy on your board. And if you don't have insta commit, offer him a scholarship. And the ne next week, not that week, the very next week, offer them as many points as you can afford. And by the end of the year, you'll be up there, number one, you'll get a visit, and you'll get them. But that's when you hear somebody talk about 73% lock, that's what you're looking for right there. No scholarship. Now, one thing you can do is if you fall behind early, say you're 1,200 points behind somebody, and they haven't offered a scholarship yet, even in week one or two or three, if they haven't offered a scholarship, you can leave them on your board and you'll still get your bonus each week, no matter how big or small. So all the other teams will be dropping down and yours won't drop as much because you're still getting your bonus. And then whenever they decide to cut them off their board, you're already on here and you can start putting points right away. But if they've already offered a scholarship, get rid of them. All right, and this is what we're looking for, 67 or higher. Um, this particular team are probably going to be looking more for 70 and higher, but those linebackers and DBs and some of the offensive linemen are going to be a little bit more difficult to find while we're trying to hit other positions. So 67 is the base, the bottom line where we're going. And when you train them up, they'll be in the low 90s by the time they're a senior. And then this section here is going to tell you what I look for at each position. So quarterbacks, I want a 40 time of 4.7 or under. Throw power of 87 or higher. Halfbacks, if you sort by squat, if they're 300 or higher, that's um, squat equals the break tackle for halfbacks. So the higher the number, the higher the break tackle is. Also, 4.5 is the uh, slowest 40 time I go. Tight ends, we sort by squat. I want 300 or higher, preferably under 4.7 on the 40 time. Offensive line, we're looking 600 squat, 400 bench. 40 time isn't quite as important. Same thing with DN and D-tackle. Linebackers is the same way, except we want definitely want under 4.7. We want fast linebackers. And then DBs, you're going to sort by 40 time and look for the guys that have the best coverage. If they have uh, squats over 300, that means they're going to have really good tackles. <clears throat> okay, so Shadow, his lock is 21%. Let me tell you this. The higher their lock percent is initially the quicker they are to commit. So if we go back, let's go back to this page. This 19% lock tackle, this 14% lock tackle, there's 5% difference between those two guys, right? This tackle right here, this 19 percenter, is gonna take about a thousand points per percentage, less recruiting time. So that's less recruiting points. So that's 5,000 less recruiting points you're going to have to put in to get him to commit than you will this 14%. So if they were equal, if everything was equal, you would definitely want this 19% guy because you won't have to spend as many points to get him as you will this one. But they're not equal because this, this tackle has a 6'10 squat. So he's way better at blocking than this guy is. All right, all of that explained. I know it's a lot for you guys to take in, but let's go uh, start looking at what we need. We need a quarterback, and we're going to sort by 40 time. And we want 4-7 or less. This guy's a Juco. He's a junior. Um, 
he'd be okay as a backup because we're going to have um, two freshmen, and they're both going to be redshirted. Um, so we could actually take this guy, redshirt him, so then the next year we'd have two sophomores and a junior, and that would allow us a year to go get a, another quarterback to replace this guy. And we're not on his list. A lot of these guys were not going to be on their list. In fact, the entire board right now is going to be players who are not on their list. Because nobody, there was nobody that we added. So we're doing low lock from day one on this class. So we're not going to be able to offer any of these guys right away. This is going to be a long play. But we're going to get, we're going to go for some uh, high overalls. And we're going to try and find them in week one and week two, and then we're gonna we're gonna pump them with 700 points right away. In the positions of need, we'll come back for the running backs and all that good stuff later. All right, and you can see the difference in our pitches now compared to last year. So this guy right here, this A plus for playing style is worth 180 bonus points. The A for championship is worth 100. So our bonus right now is 280. The B- minus for Conference Prestige has given me another 30. So we have 210 points, right? Let's see, 180, 280. So we have 310 points of bonus right here. That is huge. That means we can compete with Southern Cal and Texas and Miami because we're going to have very close to the same bonus. That's why you're looking for a lot of green and yellow here. So even though this guy's a Juco, I'm going to go ahead and throw him on the board because we should be able to get up there fast. We don't need a stud. We just need a body. If it was, if we needed a stud, even this guy is really good. But see, we're going to have to compete with these other schools. And some of these guys are going to commit. He's a C throw power, C accuracy, so he's not even that great. What is this guy? He's a B throw power, so we definitely want to put Bo Cutler on the list. The rest of these guys I'm not interested in. Not interested. Actually, these guys are all guys in the top 10s, isn't it? Yeah, these are all top 10 guys. So if we find any of these that are first, like this A. Thomas, then we can offer those guys right away, and we might be able to get Insta Commit. Yeah, I'll look at athletes last, but this quarterback, because he's a Juco, he normally would get... Um, passed over, but since we already have two freshmen, we have a, a freshman, a senior, and then a freshman being redshirted. So next year we'll have a sophomore, a freshman, those two can play. This guy will be a junior, he can get redshirted. Or we could just let him play and have carry three quarterbacks and then go get another quarterback later. So he's probably the only quarterback I'm going to put on the board right now until we get to low lock. All right, halfback. Remember, 4.5 is is the lowest I'll go. I'm not going to put look at these two guys in the 40s, but that's the that's the slowest speed I'm going to go. Remember, uh, 300 squat gives you good break tackle. We don't want this guy because he's a he's a junior. I want a better I want a better guy than this guy. I'm not really interested in Kevin Lee. He's only a 65 overall. He'll be lucky if he's a 70. So we'll, we'll definitely go low lock on the running back, so we're not going to carry a running back unless they happen to be a uh, unless they happen to be an athlete. Wide receivers. We're definitely looking at 40 times here. This guy's a 4-3-4. I have a chart. It's also in George's Discord. Hold on a sec. It's right here on the back of this folder. 4-3-4 on the 40 is a 94 speed. It's directly relatable. 436 is a 93 speed. 442 is a 90 speed. It's directly relatable, 100%. So we know if we get Tariq Schmidt, was he a 434? He's going to have 94 speed, guaranteed. <clears throat> The higher his squat is, the better his break tackle is as a wide receiver. So we can go in and look at this guy. His letter grades aren't that great down at the bottom for receiving, but those can go up. 
That doesn't mean that's exactly what they're going to be. They can get better. And we have really good pitch. So his bonus is going to be 150 plus 60. So that's 210 plus 60. That's 270. His bonus is 270. This guy, 436. He's a 68. He should go up. We're going to take him too. 436. We'll add him. He's a 71. He's not as strong. But we'll put him on the board. And that's all I'm going to do on wide receivers. And we may come back and take, yeah, we may take that 66 off the board, depending on how many guys um, we're, we have on the board and what positions we're shy that we need to come back and add somebody. So we need one tight end. And you can see we don't have anybody with 300 squat. But he's fast. Somewhat strong. Um, let's see what our bonus. We have a decent bonus. Not great. 400 points behind. I'm going to go ahead and throw him on the board because we need one. But I'm going to also go look in low lock and see if we can find another one. Because I want to get somebody that can block better. <clears throat> Fackle, we need two. Again, we're sorting by squat. And we're not looking at everybody right now. We're looking at guys that have us in their top 10. So this guy is a 76 overall. That 380 bench press means he's probably going to drop. He's probably going to drop to a 73, 74, 72, somewhere in there. Where this guy's going to go up. So I bet you these two are equal. The only problem, the only difference is Kilpatrick's faster. But we're going to put them both on the board because they both have 600. And we're going to leave the rest of these guys off the list. We need two guards. This guy's really good. He's going to go up. I would tell you the three-star offensive linemen that have 400 bench and 600 squat are nine times out of ten going to be gems. This two-star is probably a gem also. I don't know how high of a gem he's going to be. He might be plus ten. I've had a plus twelve before, so... Um, Actually, there, I had a 59 offensive lineman, and we uh, scouted him, and he went up 11 points. He was a 70. So that's why you're looking for 600 squat, 400 bench. And you can see how close these guys are to committing. I bet you this guy is an insta commit. We're already at 26%. This guy's a 72. He's a four-star, but his squat isn't this high, so he's not that good. So we'll we'll come back and look at more of these guys that are uh, we're not on their top tens. We'll come back and look at some more in a minute here. Defensive end. This guy is excellent. He's a JUCO. I don't mind having him as a JUCO. 464 with a 425 and a 630. This this dude is um, he's good. We may not be able to get him. We have some other bigger schools in front of us, and our bonus isn't outrageously good. But I'll, uh, but I'll throw him on the board because he's the only one we have that has 600. Remember, we, this guy wanted to be on our team, but his squat is terrible. That 550 squat, 555, right? That equals a 72 tackle. That's not good. You want to be in the 80s, high 70s, 80s. So that's only one D end. We're going to have to add more. There's no D tackles worth adding. Because none of them are 600, even remotely close to 600. Outside linebackers, we need three of these guys. This guy's a little slow, so we could kick him in the middle at 4'8". This guy's a little bit, not much faster, but he's okay. I'll throw him on the board. This guy doesn't have 600 squat, but he's very close. But he's got more bench press and much better 40 time. So I'm going to throw him on there and hope that he jumps up to like a 69 or a 70, 71, something like that. And that's all we're going to go with on these guys. Middle. If this guy was a 67, 68, 69, that'd be okay. So I'll put him on there for now. We might take him back off. Corners, we need two. We'll sort by 40 time. 
He's a 71, and he's a hard hitter, so he's fast, and he's a hard hitter. So, And he's first, so we'll throw him on the board. Doesn't mean we're going to get this guy. We could easily replace him with somebody else. This guy's balanced. He's not as strong. Take him as well. Nope. He's a four-star. We'll go there. I need a free safety and a strong safety. These guys are going to be strong. They're going to be good tacklers in the 300s. And we want faster the better. Now this guy's a Juco Junior at free safety. Um, we don't want him. We've already got we've already got um, a starter as a freshman, so we don't we don't want to throw somebody on the board who's a, a junior and then have to turn around and recruit his replacement again next year. Uh, if we're going to put a freshman on there, um, we've already got a freshman that's going to start next year. I will put this guy on these guys and he's a little slow he's four seven that's that's not good for free safety I'm gonna leave him off even though he's a 75 he's probably he's probably a bust he's probably a 70 all right this guy is strong and fast so I'll put him on there and see what happens this guy on there put him on there and that's it we don't need a punter or a kicker so let's go to athlete this guy right here runs a 468 40 alright Jester hey thanks for the follow man this guy runs a 468 with a 600 squat and a 425 bench that combination of squat and 40 time tells you this guy's an outside linebacker or a defensive end. He's probably a D end. <clears throat> and if we look in here, we have really good bonuses. I'm gonna I'm definitely putting him on the board. So his skills, he's got B tackle, B stamina, C hit power, C play rec, C press. He's got D's and everything at the bottom which relates to offense. So this guy is probably an end, maybe a linebacker. But we're gonna put him on the board anyway because he's got really good numbers. He's very strong and he's fast. And at 6'3", 227, just because that's more of a linebacker size, that doesn't mean he's a linebacker because the game has jacked up sizes on the players. He could easily be a defensive end or a defensive tackle. This guy is probably a safety. Yeah, C zone, C man, C press, C catch, C spec catch. He's a wide receiver DB. He's got D throw power. He's not a quarterback. He doesn't have good carry, elusive spin, so he's not a running back. So he looks like he's uh, a DB or a wide receiver. Um, the 76 spark number up there in the middle means he's very athletic, so that's good. So I'm going to put him on the board just to see what he is. Um, this guy looks like he's a wide receiver. C man, C zone, C press, C catch, C route running. He could, he could play running back. He's a little light for a running back. 168 is not very big. And we're not going to put this Juco Junior on there. All right, so we only have eight empty spots right now for guys that aren't on our board or we're not on their board. So we're going to go do that now. We're going to go pull everybody up, not just the ones that are interested. So there's 2,414 players in the in the entire uh, recruit pool. So we're not going to put a quarterback on right now. We'll come back to that later. But we're going to sort by 40 time anyway so we can look and see what's out there. Look, there's a 448 quarterback. So this Derek Campbell, the scrambler, he has 87 speed. You want see he's a C throw power, C throw accuracy. No good. It's got to be at least a B throw power. At least a B. This guy, 
No good. I know his accuracy is an A, but his throw power is probably in the 70s. That's trash. That's a that's a regular option card. This guy's no good either. So if we want another quarterback outside of that JUCO, we're going to need to come down in here where the four sixes are. And now, now we have a B throw power, but our speed is only a C. The four six six is a 78 speed. That's why I say athletes make the best option quarterbacks. We're not putting any of these guys on the board. <clears throat> Running back. Now I'm just looking at their overall. I want to see where's a five star at. I definitely want to throw a five star. All right. So Tate Shaw, B elusive, B juke, B spin, A acceleration, A agility. This guy is a stud. All right. But we don't have a very good uh, bonus on this guy. That that right there. The B minus is worth 90, the D is worth 10, so that's 100, and the A plus is worth 60, so that's only 160. So that's not a good bonus to work with right off the gate. Now, if he's a low lock guy where no one, none of those teams are putting him on their board, then we can come back and get him and go after him. But we're not going to put him on the board initially. It's a waste of time. Any other five stars down here? And we have a decent bat, uh, bonus on this guy. It's not overly elusive. But a power back with 448 is really good. So what is our bonus on this guy? That's not bad. So Lou wants the power back that's fast, so we're going to throw... Do I throw this guy on the board? Okay, we'll throw him on there for now. We don't need a fullback. We got plenty of wide receivers right now. And we'll come back for these uh, other wide receivers later after in week two. Tight end, we only have one guy on the board. Remember, we're going to sort by squat. We went 300. This guy's actually not too bad. He's probably closer to a 70. He's got really good 40 time. He's very strong. But we have shitty. That bonus right there is 40. That's 80 bonus right there. That's a waste of time. We have a great bonus on him, but he runs a 4940. I'm pretty sure I can run a 4940. Not a good bonus there. I gotta find somebody that has a halfway decent bonus. Oh, and here, look at the top. He says, Program Tradition Deal Breaker, C+. There's a pretty good chance we will get locked out on this guy because our uh, Program Tradition isn't high enough. He wants to be at a big school. I need to find one more tight end to put on this board. 74. Yeah, let's throw him on the board. All right, tackle. We're sorted by squat, and we should have some guys on this list, probably down here. We have two guys. We need to be 600 or higher, and then the bench press needs to be 400 or higher for the most part. All right, so we're not gonna have good bonuses on these guys. The ones that we do have a good bonus on, like that one has got a deal breaker. Remember I said, Three stars are good because they're not going to be recruited nearly as hard. We're going to put him on there because we have an A as the number one. Let's go look at guard. Also, a rule of thumb, what I like to do is if I need one quarterback, I put two on the board. If I need two wide receivers, I put four on my board. If I need three outsides, I put six on my boards. I put twice as many players as what I need so that I have plenty of options in case we get locked out on some of these guys. All right, so we're competing against other really big schools. His bonus right now, his playing time is an A+. Plus. That's 60, the A is 20, so that's 180. So that's 270, so we can compete with that. So I'm gonna put this guard on the board. 
even though he's a four star. All these guys are good, so I'm just looking for guys that have at least two greens. <clears throat> He likes championship contender, so we'll throw him on the board. We only have two more to go. So I'm going to have to go back in and look at some of these and uh, remove and add. How many DNs do we have? Yeah, just one. All right, we need two DNs, so we probably need to just add a bunch more. So now we're just going to quickly go through and look at bonuses. John Taylor is a possibility. Justin Lowe is a definite. We may not get him, but he's a definite add to the board. And Thomas also. All right. We're full up. So let's go out of here. Let's go back to our main one where I can look at each position. And we'll see what we need to trim off so we can come back in. Because we haven't even looked at D-tackle, outside linebacker, middle linebacker, corner, free safety, strong. we gotta, we got to have to trim some fat now. We're going to leave this guy on there because he's a Juco. We need one running back. And neither one of these guys are we on their board. And there's a good chance we would get locked out of them right away. And that's okay. We're just going to scout them and see what happens. Hope that one of those guys, uh, nobody puts any points on. And we're on the board and we can go get them right away. All right, wide receivers we need two. So we're going to rock with these. You can see we're number one in all those. So what I'm doing here is I'm hoping that I can get two of these guys to insta-commit. And we're done with the position. And we can spend those points and uh, positions on someone else. Tight end, we need one. So it would be really nice if we could get Patrick since he's already on the board and we're not that far behind. Tackle, we need two of these guys. I really need to add one more. Um, but we'll wait and see. Guard, we only need two. We're gonna scout. We're gonna scout these three for sure. I already know these guys are good. So we're gonna take these guys off the board. Even though we have good bonuses, because I need to add somebody at other positions, and we know we're already on these guys' board. And we don't need starters necessarily. I need to add more linebackers. Defensive end. Probably not getting Justin low. What was his bonus? 290. I'll leave him on because he does have a good bonus. Who's Johnson? 220. <clears throat> I'm going to take him off. Even though we need two DNs, and I said double, we'll, we'll, we'll go look some more. We need a D tackle. So we need to add a couple of D tackles. We really need more linebackers, at least a couple more there, and at least one more here. Corners were going to be good. We don't need any more corners. Probably need one more free. And actually, I'm not going to add a free. We're going to we're going to count one of these strong safeties as a free safety, so we're going to have four because they're basically interchangeable. Plus, we have three athletes. This guy right here. Um, he was the guy that was like a defensive end. This guy is one that can play corner or wide receiver, and this guy could play corner and wide receiver. So we need to go add some more linebackers and D-tackles. We have three guys. So I think we need to add middle linebacker and defensive tackle. So let's go do that. Jesus, look at this guy. 705 squat. That equals a 90 tackle. 90 tackle. This guy's a stud. And he runs a 4.5, so he has 86 speed with 90 tackle. Yeah, we're not going to get him because that pitch isn't high enough. We don't have enough bonus points out of there, and those other schools will get him. We could put Brian Bracken on there, but he runs a 4.8. 
Yep, he is. So we may come back to Bracken. Yeah, one of these years, I would love to have a school with high enough ratings that I could go get somebody like that Dowell at the top of the list and just have a monster from day one. So all I'm doing is just glancing at the letters and trying to see if we can get two greens and one yellow. And I'm dropping here. They have to be higher overall. So 72. No. We're going to go back up and add this number two linebacker. I'm not going to add the first one because we don't have enough bonus. This guy's bonus right here is 150 plus 60. So 210. We can work with 210. You really want closer to 300. But definitely under 200 is not good. All right, so let's get to two D tackles. So D tackle, it really doesn't matter on the speed so much. They're all going to be between you know five eight. I'm sorry, four eight and five. Um, definitely don't want this guy here. Not only is he slow, he's not strong. 380 bench press is uh, 72 strength. That's not good. So yeah, 600, 400, that guy is usable, we'll throw him on. This guy is usable, is there anybody else we can throw in the back of our mind to come get later? Because I'm sure one of those two guys is going to get, either going to blow us out of the water because we're not going to be able to put 700 points on him. I rarely put 700 points on these guys right away unless I'm to a season like I was with uh, Texas Tech last year where we only needed, we only had 10 seniors and I was only going to recruit 12 to 15 guys. Well, if you have that small of a class, you can throw 700 on them every week. All right. We've got enough. We're going to be, we're going to come back after, after I scout and we advance to week one and finish scouting. And when we advance to week two, we'll be done with the stream. But at the start of the next stream, we're going to go back in and you'll see we're going to be thousands of points behind on some of these guys. And we're just going to get rid of them and come back in here and recruit even more. So the very next stream, we're probably going to have at least an hour or two hours of more recruiting at the start before we ever play any games. So. Now what I want to do, I'm going to set up two separate boards. And what I mean by that is we want all the guys up here that were on their board. We want a different list down here of the guys that were not on their board. We will be after this week. But the guys at the top are going to be higher up than the ones near the bottom. So where are the guys? All right, so from here. So from Bobby, Bob Irby down were not on any of their boards. So what I do is I put them in numerical order before I scout them. It's just an anal thing that I have to have them in the, in their numerical order. I know it's going to change once we uh, scout them. But I scout them based on their initial overall. So. so let's put all these 60s down here at the bottom. He was the first one, right? Okay. <clears throat> now you can hit the options where it says options with the square. You can hit options and tell it to sort by all kinds of different things. But sometimes when you sort by those other things, you lose their overall. It'll say Vincent Everett, athlete, and it tells you how many points you're up or how many points you're behind, but you don't know what their overall is. So it's kind of nice to know what guys you're up and what guys you're down, but I still want to know what their overall is. So that's why I go ahead and just sort them by their overall until we get into putting points on these guys and then we start moving them up and down the list based on who's important and who's not important. Um, I had to help 49er George learn this process, and we did it on his stream. And it was really difficult when I was first in chat 
And then we started doing Discord calls where you guys could hear my voice and before you ever saw my face. And it was really difficult for me to follow the list sometimes until I could get him to sort it like this because I need to, I have to mentally picture it in a certain way and that's why we, we started doing the uh, spreadsheet. George calls it homework. Um, it's basically a way to keep everything organized so that you're recruiting players to fill holes and to fill the needs first and then your wants later because it's too easy to start recruiting and then you've got eight wide receivers when you only had two guys graduating and now you've got all these extra players and you end up with only having four defensive backs because you didn't recruit enough of them. Sorting your list like this also keeps, you know, sometimes I will sort by position and not by their overall so I can keep track of everybody at a particular position like I'll say say I'll have uh, four tackles I'll sort all the tackles in one group next to each other by overalls um, and then I can kinda see what I have what I need to uh, get rid of you can do that same thing by just going in here by their position like here wide receiver so now that I have them sorted on the main list they're gonna be sorted on their position list as well alright so and it tells you what your needs are right my needs are strong safety and quarterback alright so now we're gonna scout so let's get in here to non scouted we're just gonna scout until we're out of points which is 20? I think it's 20. Alright, so this tackle is an 85 pass blocker. He's a 70 70, went up one. There's a 75 D end, and he stayed a 75. Look at that 80 power moves, 80 finesse moves, 81 tackle. This dude, 85 pursuit, this dude is good. He is good. We're at the bottom of his list, but our bonus isn't that much behind the other ones. So we, we're going to have to put some points on him if we want him. So this halfback, 87 speed. Not very elusive. I don't know what's keeping him up high. Um, so we might have to replace him. I'm not too worried. Like I said, I'll, I'll look at these guys in low lock. Alright, this guy's very usable. 79 speed with 89 throw power, 81 throw accuracy. We can just redshirt him for a year, and then we'll have him as a backup for two years. So it gives us time to go get go get somebody that's uh, so next year. If we got say we got this guy, the next year we'd go recruit another quarterback. All right, got a 76 corner with 90 speed, 93 excel, 76. This is the athlete. Uh, he's a uh, 90 elusive, 94 juke. This guy's a running back. He doesn't have a stiff arm, but he's got break tackle, carry, juke, elusive, spin. He's also got 84 man, 83 zone, 78 press. He could play DB. 70 catching. So if you put him at DB, um, he won't drop so many passes. 91 speed. He's not a cover guy. He's a wide receiver. Carry's not great, stiff arm's not great. I wouldn't play him at running back. I'd play him at wide receiver though. 81 route running, 81 spec catch, 82 jump. It's definitely a wide receiver. 68 tight end. I don't care that he dropped. That's fine. He's going to be third on the depth chart anyway. He's got 80 speed. He can develop catching and blocking. 74 corner. He's a little slow. 88 speed is okay. He could also get moved to safety. So he dropped a little bit. That's okay. 73. He's got good man coverage and 91 speed, 91 excel. This guy dropped. He doesn't cover very well. His speed isn't great. He's a 69. He's got 94 speed though. 90 carrying. He's a good run blocking guard. Hey, got a gem there. And his free safety is okay, nothing special. 
93 speed catching, you know, 872 catching wide receiver, 67. He's not a good man coverage. He's probably not worth going after. 67, only 59 man. That's not good. Yeah, 65 tackle, we're not interested. He's going to go away. Alright, we're out. We are out. So I need to replace that guy because you really want to have 35 guys. So let's go find another... Uh, actually, let's go find another corner. Some of those... Or no, strong safety. Let's go find a strong safety because they were nothing special. He's a possibility. He's a possibility. Can you get anything with an A near the top? He's a 59. minus across the board is uh, 180 points so he's not great but he's, he's not the worst so we need to move him up the board so he's in the right spot on the lower half we're not on his board so and I'm gonna resort the guys at the top of this list now that we have their rankings where is no points no points Find the last guy we scouted. All right, so Lee Jackson was the last guy we scouted. This will also help us figure out who we want to put points on. No points to scout. Scouted. Scouted. Make sure I didn't move somebody up that shouldn't be moved up. I think all these are in the correct order. All right. So after we advance, then we'll be on the board for the rest of these guys at the bottom, and we'll re we'll we'll push all these guys up. And just because we don't have a lot of high overalls right now on the board is, doesn't mean anything. Because we're going to go find some after this week. <clears throat> so, we're going to advance, finish scouting, take a look at these guys. Um, and I may call it quits because it's already 4.30. And uh, getting tired. Been on here for six and a half hours. So next stream we can do a lot more recruiting at the beginning probably only play a couple of games so if I happen to stream this weekend I doubt it will be tomorrow it'd probably be Sunday and if it's Sunday then we'll it'll be around the same time like 10 in the morning central time otherwise it'll be Monday so either Sunday or Monday at 10 in the morning will be the last next time we stream That's central time. All right.
I know this is really dry and boring for some of you guys, but other people, if you've never seen me recruit, this is how in depth we get, so. If you're on George's Discord, you'll see I'll post my uh, recruiting classes and people are just like, holy crap, how did you get those? And it's like, oh, well, it's because I take my time. All right, he scouted, scouted. All right, from here down. 67. That's the guy that we think is a D end. And play rack zone. He's either a linebacker or a D end. Sixty-five. I don't know. We can find better. I don't care that we're number one. We don't. We're not that desperate. Sixty-eight is is tolerable. Sixty-eight is definitely tolerable. Let's see what this guy is. Sixty-three is gone. Number sixty-seven is about the lowest point you want to go. Sixty-seven is okay. This guy's a sixty-eight. He's not that great of a pass blocker. Sixty-four. He's trash. And if you guys are interested, um, if you go to my YouTube channel, it's just Von Rye. There's no STL. Just go to Von Rye over at YouTube. I have all my videos archived over there, and I have a specific one. It's the Louisiana Monroe series. I think there's five videos in there. And I took a 68 overall Louisiana Monroe team. And in four years, we won a natty, and we did all sim on the games except for the national championship game. I played that game. And we had the number two or three class in the nation my second year with a two and ten team. And so if there's something you didn't retain or you want to review, I would go watch those videos. You can just put it on 2x speed and watch it, you know, in half the amount of time. But I go over this all over again. And you can see how to do it with a small school without insta commit. Um that's just what I tell people every day. There we go. 81. I just tell people to go watch those videos. You can watch it whenever you want to. Like, Param Crow has 121 five year rebuilds, and I just power watched all of those in about a week and a half. So, you can just watch them at your leisure. That's why I put them over there so that, uh, and I had to go create playlists um, to make it easier for everybody to find them because they were all mixed in and jumbled up so you can just load in a playlist and just let it play straight through um, but that will uh, that will give you an easy place to go find um, just recruiting information I mean if one of these days I'll take the time to go through and shorten it down and remove all the extraneous crap because you know sitting through a five hour video even even at double speed and it's two and a half hours it's still two and a half hours it's like going and taking a college class, right? But um, I would recommend watching that if you're going to restart at a small school and build a small school up. Um, doing the small schools is a completely different thing than trying to go build up Ohio State or Clemson or USC or any of those schools. You have a built-in uh, benefit of having a lot of high bonuses from day one with the small schools you have to actually build those bonuses up by winning games um, it's uh, one of these days I'm gonna start a dynasty with a big school and just show you how stupid sick the, the recruiting classes are at those schools like I was practicing with Ohio State last night there wasn't I think there was two players on my board not just after two players on my board after scouting they were under 75 out of 35 guys I had 33 guys 75 and higher and most of those guys were not low lock they were guys who were straight up interested in going to the school so my my way of of recruiting at a big school is is a worse than a cheat code because It's just, I, with the, if you give me a three or 400 point bonus, it's done. It's over. All right. I can almost guarantee these two guys we're not going to get. We're already below the projected cut line. We don't have that great of a bonus. I mean, that one's competitive at least. But we're going to have to put 700 points in each one of those guys. 
I'm not saying I'm not going to. I'll probably put 700 on this guy just to see what happens. Um, but that's what it's going to take to get somebody like that. Whereas these guys down here in the lower 70s, we don't. We can get by with putting less points. Like this guy, I would probably only put 200 points on. All right, so let's look at scholarships. I removed three guys, didn't I? So we can add three more guys to the board, but let's let's try to insta-commit some of these guys. So we're only going after guys who are first on their board. It would be so nice to get the 77 tackle out of the way. If you didn't see, was it Wednesday? Was it Wednesday or yesterday? We were early in the season. I had two guys insta-commit at the start of the season, and then I had a visit, and I got two more guys commit. So I had four commits, right? And then I came in here under the no scholarships tab and I had like nine guys that we were number one on that we, I give them 200 points. And after two weeks, we had already moved up and we became number one. That particular week, we had two guys commit after a visit game. And then I insta committed seven of the nine guys. I'd never done that in my life. It was ridiculous. So we went from having two commits to having 11 commits in one week. All right, we didn't get him. Let me let me exit off of this board because none of these guys are gonna have scholarships. Uh, it'll it'll show the icon where the bonus is right here when they commit. All right, so I offered him. This way we don't have to guess on whether we got him or not. I don't think we have any of these guys were number one yet. They're further down, okay. Corner. Nope, didn't get him. All right, we got one of our two wide receivers. Stick him at the bottom. This is why you don't offer a scholarship if you have insta commit until you're number one. Let's see if we got the other one. Nope. Got the guard. We only need one more guard. Remember, he's a backup, so it doesn't matter. All right, so we got two. So I'll go to my board. So now we only need one more wide receiver and one more guard. So that means when we go into low lock, I'm going to be looking for a high overall guard and a high overall wide receiver. Let's go look at this. All right. So we offered these guys. They didn't accept. I'm going to leave them on the board and I'm not going to give them points. Okay. We're going to go try and find somebody that's in the mid to high 70s, low 80s, and put them on the board. But we'll do it after we advance this week because I want to see... Who put scholarship offers on the players, the other teams, this particular week? Guard. We got the 68. We're trailing by 445 with this guy. What's my bonus? 295 bonus is good. So we're going to be competitive, but I'm going to go next week and see if I can find a high overall guard that no one's putting points on. And I'm really not too worried about this, these two halfbacks and this quarterback. So now we have 4,300 points to put on these guys. I need to put two more guys on here. Right, we're going to give this guy 700. And we're going to give this guy 700. <sighs> what is this guy? 87 speed. I'm not too worried about him. This linebacker would be nice to have this guy. Let's experiment a little bit. Let's do this. Let's throw 700 on him. I don't need to put 700 on him because I'm number one and I already offered. So we're only going to put about 300 on Kilpatrick because I don't need the bonus from offering him a scholarship is going to make up for not putting all these points on there. We do need a D tackle. So I'm going to throw 700 and hope that we get competitive. 700 on him. 700 on a tight end. 700 on the outside. 
I'm going to put 200 on both of these corners. Well, 100. All right, we'll go with that. Tell you what, let's take let's take this tackle down to 200 and give that corner, give the other corner, all right, 200. We'll just give it to this guy. All right, so some of these guys down here, we're going to fall behind, way behind, really fast. So when I advance this week, when I advance this week, I bet you this halfback, it says we're 1,100 points behind. Let's find out. So we need to put three guys on the board. So we're just going to go to the Spark 100. And we're going to look for somebody that we have a high bonus on right now. This is 80 overall wide receiver. We're going to put him on the board. This 80 overall wide receiver is going on the board. Not him. A halfback. Let's just throw him on the board. Hell with it. Um, we don't need to scout them right now. We can, we'll get more points back next week. Um, they're going to be at the bottom of the list above the guys that we already signed. So we're going to have to come back in and scout these guys. So this is important to remember too. When you're not on their board, Kyle Johnson, we're probably not going to get on the board. We might kick Mexico off, but we'll jump on Harrison Shaw's board. Probably not Kyle Johnson. But anyway, we're going to throw these guys on there. If you're not in their top 10, so see we are in the top 10 for Pittman, so we can put points on him. But if you add somebody to your board and you're not on the top 10, don't put points on them. You can scout them. You can offer them a, a scholarship. But don't put points on them. They're wasted points. They don't count towards you until they actually have you on their top 10. So you're wasting points. You're better off putting them on somebody else. All right, so let's advance this week so we can see what happened. So we know next time we play, next time we uh, stream, we're going to play Florida State the first game. And I'm going to show you how far behind we are in some of these guys. And some of the guys that we put no points on, we're actually going to gain ground. Some of them are going to be way behind. Some of the guys we put a lot of points on, we're still going to lose ground. And we're going to dump them. We're not going to dump them right now. We're just going to review it. Next stream, we'll go through that whole process of dumping guys, adding new guys, scouting, doing all that stuff. It's just like starting over in the preseason all over again. But you at least have somebody to work with at, at certain positions. So we don't have a lot of real needs on this team. Uh, we need to upgrade players, but we don't have need need. Um, so we can be a little more aggressive on some of the higher overalls that we get on their board early. Um, normally I like to go two, 300 points on a lot of these guys at the beginning and slowly work my way up the board. Uh, I'm going to be a lot more aggressive on this one. So we have 1,200 points that we can spend. So let's go see what the damage was. All right, we're going to go to the top schools. All right, here's a good lesson for you. <clears throat> we are 50 points behind Auburn on the bonus. They're 270, we're 220. So we're going to lose. We're going to lose 50 points every week on these guys but we actually gained 30 points and we didn't offer them a scholarship. But since we're 400 points behind and we're only gaining 30 points a week, we are probably not going to get to number one on their list before we have a visit. So I'm going to go ahead and offer this guy, even though we have Insta commit because I want to get even closer. And then when his scout, his visit week comes, I don't have to worry about remembering to offer him. So we're going to go ahead and offer this guy just to try and move up his board even more. Because we actually did go up by putting 700 points on him. And that offer should hopefully keep us in the top four. I think we should, we should be able to get this guy. He'll be our new starting strong safety. Now we put 700 points into this guy and we dropped 45 points. And this is why we dropped 45 points. Florida has 335 bonus. We have 290. That's 45 point difference. 
That's the difference. We drop 45. So the difference between our bonus and the change, those two things being equal, that means Florida's put 700 points on them, we put 700 points on them, and we're dropping. So even if we offer this guy a scholarship, we're never going to catch up because we're always going to drop 45 points every week. So we're going to cut this guy and go find somebody else. There's no point chasing someone that you're always dropping points on every week. I told you, this is running back. I said, I bet you we're 1,200 points behind. Boom, Three, 1,355. So he's gone. So even if we put 700 points on him, we would have lost ground. Here's another guy. This middle linebacker I wanted, and we lost 150. We don't have the bonus to compete. We have exactly 150 point difference between our bonus and Florida's bonus. So we're never going to catch up. So we're going to have to go find another middle linebacker. That's 1,400 points right there we've got to spend on someone else. Now, this 77 overall tackle, we only put 200 points on. We were number one. We offered. Kansas jumped ahead, but they haven't offered a scholarship. So we're 300 points behind, so I'm going to give him the 300 points we dropped to get him to 500. And we can spend another 200 and somewhere else. So we'll we'll gain ground. We'll be probably even with Kansas, and we have a better bonus than everybody else on the board, so eventually we'll get him to number one. We've already offered he didn't commit. All right, see the quarterback we were interested in, the Juco? We didn't put any points on him, and we gained ground on everybody. We are going to get this guy, and I can offer him right now and try and insta commit him. And he signed. So now we don't have to chase quarterback the rest of the year. He's done. We can cross quarterback off the list. Doesn't mean we can't go recruit athletes that can play quarterback, but a specific player to play quarterback on the team, we don't need him. All right, D-tackle. We put 700 points on this guy, and we jumped to first. We're still trailing, pardon me, South Carolina by 95 points on our bonus, but I don't think they're putting 700 points on him. So I'm going to leave 700 on him and wait to get to number one to offer because we made right now we're above the cut line so we're good. It's probably going to be between us and South Carolina. So I'm going to wait another week and if we move into number one next week then I can offer him. Corner. We put 700 points on this guy. Here's very important. Look at this. Our bonus is very competitive, right? Look at the change. Every one of those guys went down 700 points. That means none of those guys have him on the board. So we no longer have to spend 700 points to get this guy. First of all, I'm going to take the points away, and then we're going to offer him. The reason why you take the points away before you offer is if he says yes, those 700 points can't be spent on anybody else that particular week. All right, he didn't commit. But now that we're 700 points ahead, we don't have to put 700 in him. I'm probably only going to put 300, and that gives us 400 points to spend on somebody else. This athlete we're not getting. I'm not going to waste my time. There's other athletes probably better that we could go get. This tight end, we put 700 points on him. We lost ground. We're getting rid of him. We'll never catch up. This defensive end, we put no points on, and we only dropped 35. So I'm going to put 300 points on him. And be uh, conservative. I don't, wanna, I don't need 700 points on him. 300 points will get us in first place in two weeks. Outside linebacker, we put 700 points on him, and he moved to number one. So we're going to take these points away. I'm going to offer... Didn't get him to sign, but we don't need to put 700 on him. We can put 400 on him. Yeah, I might come back and put another 100 on him. This halfback we're not going to get. That's no big deal. We'll get somebody in low lock. This corner, 
our bonus is relatively the same. We dropped 400, so even if I put 500 on him, I don't know that we could get this guy. It's like a 10 point difference. I'm gonna hold off on him. I might give him 700 and offer him. We'll have to, I'll have to think about it. All right, we put no points on this D tackle. How many D tackles do we have? We need one. And we're competitive here. So I'm gonna continue to give this D tackle no points. Um, tell you what, I'm gonna give him 50 points just so Wisconsin doesn't jump us. We'll stay even with those guys. All right, we're number one on this corner. We didn't give him any points. Florida State jumped up five because they have five point bonus better. So we'll just give him another 50 points just to keep Florida State away from us. Didn't get the tackle, goodbye. What is Dominique? Dominique is a wide receiver. He's only a 71. I'm not gonna worry about Dominique. 71 guard, let's give him uh, I know George is hard after him and this might be wasted points, but let's just give him a couple hundred points and just see what happens next week. I'm not sold on him. We're not going to give him any points, even though we uh, have a small lead, we don't need to give him any points. This free safety, we dropped 530 points. There's got to be someone better. And he's not a need, so we could actually put a corner there. Um, these guys are catching up on Inman. We need, we only need one more wide receiver, right? Need one more wide receiver. We're leading on him, leading on him. Yeah, we're not getting these two 80 overalls, as you can see, so we're going to get rid of those. Remember, I just threw them on the board to see uh, where we would be, just in case nobody was uh, recruiting him. Let's get back down to these 69 guys. <clears throat> and then... Let's give him a hundred for now, since those other two wide receivers weren't low lock. We don't need to give him any. Strong safety, we need one, so let's give this guy a hundred, because we're number one already and no one's really gaining ground on him. Tight end, we gotta get another, we have to go find another tight end. I don't want to put 700 points on a high uh, 60 tight end. We'll let Texas Tech have this guy. We're gonna have to go find more outside linebackers. Our bonus is not good compared to these guys. I'm not gonna chase him. We'll go find somebody else. Strong safety. Just give him a hundred points for now. This corner, we'll give him a hundred points for now. I'm not sold on him. Not a very high overall. What is Yates? Is this the DN linebacker guy? Yeah. Let's give him 50 for now. Let's give Pittman a couple hundred because we need a middle linebacker. Shaw's toast. As you can see, now we're down to 21. So we have 14 guys that we're going to add to this board. And I'm not going to do them right now. I'll do it next stream. But you can see some guys you move up on, other guys you have no chance on, even if you put 700 points. So it all depends on uh, what, the, what the computer does. But we have a good head start. And we'll come back and add more guys. I need to uh, do some what I call power thinking on this and try and figure some stuff out. But... Let's add my head coach point before I forget to do that. Your coach is Stradamus. All right, so are we even in the top 25 preseason poll? No. What are we overall? What is it rank ranking this?
All right, so we're an 86 overall, 84 offense, 88 defense. I like having the defense that high because um, it's a little, it helps me. I have less user control on defense than I do on offense, so uh, I don't know where they're going with the ball, or I do know where I'm going with the ball on offense, so having the defense higher is actually a good thing. So that helps. And what does it rank? This championship contenders will tell you what it thinks your, your roster rank is. So it's telling us we're the 33rd best team. So we're not far from a top 20 team. So we win these four non-conference games. We're going to be in the top. We'll be in the top 15 if we win all four of those. So that'll help us uh, at the end of the year. So we, we should have a legitimate shot at a natty or at least a big bowl this year. If we if we don't have a shot at a natty this year, we will be competing for a natty the following. I guarantee it. But I think we're we'll have a chance to get a natty this year. So. 86 overall. I've I've won natties with teams that have lower overalls than that. So anyway, all right. Thank you guys for uh, sticking around. Anybody that was in here for six and a half hours, man, you deserve a medal. Um, I would watch your notifications. I'm on Twitter. It's von Rye 11 on Twitter. Um, plus the notifications on. Uh, Twitch, the show when I, I go live. Hey, no problem, T-Bone. Thanks for being in here, man. Um, this is what I do. This is what I'm known for. That's why everybody, if you go in their stream and I go in the chat, they'll be like, oh, this is the Vaughn father. This guy's the greatest recruiter. Well, I don't say that I'm the greatest recruiter. I, I know I'm a very good recruiter. I put a lot of effort into it. There are other people that probably do even better than I do, but they're probably not as anal about the uh, spreadsheet and all that. I know Param Crow came in my stream one night and he saw the spreadsheet and he's like, oh my God. That spreadsheet, such detail, I love it. So, and he does a great job of recruiting himself. I watch his videos to learn recruiting stuff, so. But that spreadsheet, I, I guarantee you, if you do the spreadsheet, it will show you where your holes are. Make sure you don't over-recruit a position that you don't need to over-recruit. It'll identify the needs and the wants. And it'll help you when it comes to position changes, that one page we were on for a while earlier. So you can balance your team out. So anyway, yeah, some people don't have the time or patience, and I understand that, and it's not a big deal. I'm not insulted. But if people want to learn, hey, that's what I'm here for, man. So anyway, um, I will definitely be back Sunday or Monday, one of the two. I don't know yet. kind of depends on what's going on this weekend. Um no later than Monday at 10 a.m. Central. So, and we will finish up this uh, recruiting before we play our first two games. Um, and we're going to continue to work on this board for the first three or four weeks. Zero future. Thank you for the follow. Um, we will uh, we will continue to churn this this uh, list all the way up until week eight. So. The quicker we can get these guys to insta commit early in the season, the more time we're going to have to spend on uh, going after some other guys, the seventy-three percent lock guys later. So anyway, so I'm going to go and uh, do dinner with the wife here, and uh, I think she's going to be done working in like five minutes, and we're probably going to have to go to the grocery store and pick up a few things before we eat. So anyway we're gonna go raid somebody I gotta figure out uh, who we're gonna raid right now it's just showing uh, JT gaming and revamp for people that I follow and we just uh, raided revamp yesterday so I'm probably not gonna uh, raid him because even when I raided him he's like it's like dude you don't have to raid me it's okay man so we will probably go see JT gaming JT was in here earlier he's uh, I think he's seeing the army. I can't remember what if he's army or navy. I think he's army. Um, but he's playing. He's our new punter. So we'll go. Uh, we'll go raid JT. He also plays in MLB the show. If you guys are into that too. But uh, anyway, thank you guys again. I really appreciate it. I really do. Thanks for all the follows. Anybody that subbed. And uh, I'm gonna give you this thanks for watching screen and uh, start the raid. And then when everybody's ready, we'll head on over there. So. Thank you again, and I will uh, talk to you later on.